Hi, Scissor in here with another Play With Me. Uh, if you're new to the Play With Me series, this is basically we do... This was announced like a week ago. We're doing a pretty budget character and we're going to take this from level 2 to level 60, 70-ish. Um, and just show like the leveling process and then talk a little bit about how to further scale it. Normally on these characters, if it's something I really like, then, um, then I like continue playing them. And I have a few like super in game stuff that I could like put on this and uh, possibly have as a cool thing. Um, this as an example. Um, a lot of people are using like, yeah, so this is Blade Blast and uh, Blade Fall endgame. So a lot of people put Blade Fall in a helmet with like some like more elemental damage or something like that. Whereas here I can put it in a six thing wand or sorry, six thing scepter. And that could be pretty cool. And I do have like a. Bladefall Enchant. I also have some like cool ideas for endgame if I get a Brass Dome uh, with some Timeless Legion Jewels. But uh, first, let's get there and then we'll see how that ends up in the future. So, and and thank you Climax for the 28 months. So we're just going to start here. Actually, we'll, we'll start the timer when I actually move out. So this is the stuff I have. I um, don't really need that. I think I have most of the gems I need. So this is like 2 plus 1 Fist ones. They're easy to make with item level 2 Driftwood ones and then Jagged Fossils. Wanderlust, you notice there's no tabula. We have a Karuri Ward with Diamond Skin Anointed. That's super cheap to make. Uh, Ethereal Lamps, Onslaught, Pierce, Explosive Trap. Oh, I always forget Quicksilvers. And Portals, actually. Yes? Yes. Where we live, we are blessed. There. So yeah, EK, Onslaught, Pierce, Explosive Trap, Flame Nash, Hero of the Vash, Hero of the Purity, Swift Assembly, Smoke Mine. Second win, Bladefall, Blade Blast, and then a Barracks for level 20, and some random currency. Um, I think I might need a second four link, so I might as well just grab a glove. Farewell. So I should put on some random ass music, like Path of Exile OST maybe? Path of Exile OST sounds nice. Path of Exile OST. Um, so that's the... Uh, plan for today and then I try to explain everything while leveling quite a lot stay sharp out there yeah let me grab some like dexterity to those would be great yeah well I think I'm gonna need more green sockets throw a binding on that that might be fine actually I'm just gonna need like explosive trap and swift assembly everything else we don't really need anything else except quicksilvers I'm actually gonna grab an adrenaline too because they're very easy to make and harvest um if you don't know how to make Quicksilvers very easily in Harvest, it's basically the um, the one that's just like a normal or magic item turned rare with speed that works on Quicksilvers. Even though obviously Fusks can't turn rare, it still works for some reason, which is great. So especially forces. just from the belt right now, you're going to notice that everything is going to be one-shotting. Well, the belt and the ones, um, which is nice. Like, it's, it's a crazy amount of damage that you get. And then, um, the skill tree, you're sort of just going to be, like, seeing while I'm doing it. I'll try to, like, show that off and stuff. We're going to be going up for, up towards Templar, but we'll take life nodes on the way there. Obviously, there's not much, um, mostly, like, melee physical damage, not actual physical damage. So, we'll go through life nodes all the way up to the Templar. We want to be over here somewhere with Divine Judgment. It's very, very good early on. Um, we, we can grab a fairly early Avatar Fire so that we're 100% conversion with Chieftain. Andrew, thank you for the 14 months, dude. Oh, I did forget the timer. Okay, there. We're cheating a little bit. We're cheating a little bit, boys. Don't tell anyone. Nobody's going to know about this. How did you instantly save a skill point? That's by holding control Those down. Wanted me to die. Holding control does a few I things in Path of Exile. If you are entering a zone, like opening a zone, then while holding control down, you can make a new instance. Just useful for if you want to stay in one area and over farm a bit. So, a lot of people use Armageddon Brand while leveling these. Um, I want to try Blade Vortex. I think Blade Vortex should be way nicer damage. here and now we can already get adrenaline on <laughs> a lot of it because I want to teach new players that's why not about being competitive just about teaching new players the game 
you there. Well, occasionally you get some extra traps. Doesn't really do much, but every little helps. So what I normally do in this zone, I will throw a, a, a portal. Wait, wait. Uh, throw a portal up once I find the staircase. Should be here. Um, that's because then we can teleport back. And um, we don't have to do backtracking. Because like right now, if I went down to the depth, then it's like an extra 30 seconds I lose. That we now don't lose. Obviously, you don't do this so much at least, sir. But to kill yeah, we can wear... Oh, never mind. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> it's early in the morning. Don't log out this time. I know I always, a lot of the time, forget about it. Bad habit, especially because I'm like explaining a lot. It's like easy to forget about. Um, and generally, I'm like killing things to keep on slot up. We're seeing as we're one shotting packs, it's like pretty easy to like overkill. Um, blues are worth killing. Hmm, I probably should have cleaned out my garden actually, so I could do that while leveling. I might, um,. I'm not sure how early I'll start doing my garden because on the melee character I did need to do harvest quite a lot. On this we don't really need to. There's nothing much we need to craft. Um, so I'll probably be doing garden a lot less. I tried to show that off a lot on my melee character playthrough though. There's a nice balance of like just killing things to keep the onslaught on and you get enough XP to stay leveled. We're already level 7 here, which we don't need to be. Level 8 before Brutus is nice. Why no Tabu there? Um, kind of to show off that you don't need one. Um, a lot of new players will get very, very hung up on, like, you know, needing to invest 10 kills into a Tabula to be, like, the thing that lets you level easier. But... Like, just a barracks ring, or which we have uh, in the stash that we showed off. Um, or like the ones and stuff. They're cheaper and a lot more power than a tabula. You don't really need a six thing for a lot of builds. Um, so I just want to... I like showing off how strong something can be on a four link. You don't really... You don't really... Uh, you don't need a tabula for a lot of things. And that's easy to forget. Especially when you're new. Yeah, that's the thing, right? It can give you mana problems... It's not really that much damage because you don't have that much to scale. So yeah, Slave the, the other man. stuff is a lot better. Slave is not even worthy of death. Let's see, so technically we could go back and grab Herald the Bash right now. No, I mean um, the added fire. We don't really need that. I think we have enough damage just for the explosive trap. But yeah, I, I just always try to keep these like, well, well, they're not intended to be something like a league starter. Uh, and I, I do think this build would work as that. But seeing as it's later in the league, I, I expect that people have a little bit more stuff, basically. So I, um, so I have a few more things extra. But uh, there's still people that are like, maybe like, only on their first or second character. Not everybody has to tabby this. Some people have just died and lost to tabby there. So, that's like the thought process there. So, we have a lot of life. What if you die during the leveling process? Um, I can't really die on the Chieftain because this is very tanky. Uh, and I very rarely die during the leveling process anyway. But normally... Normally, I would just finish it off on softcore. On this character, I would probably restart because this is something I actually want to use on hardcore as a zip. Which would be a really good boss killer. Um, especially if I grab, like, while well, Molten Shell, I can't really die during leveling. Even Every after the nerf. Death brings me life. But yeah, it's... I think I've died, like, once or twice during leveling in the last year. I died Born once this day. That was, uh, I was kind of... Not a lot going on that day. That was, like, when all the method stuff came out. Not to like, yeah. Stressful day. So I was like looking at a different screen and then a bit fucked up. But holy crap, you're fast. Yeah, zoom, zoom. So you don't like, don't need to worry about um, keeping up for those of you who are playing along. This is more like you get to like see what I'm doing at the same time and have like an idea of what to do. 
So obviously I want to try to be fairly quick so that it's easier to um, the see what you're going to be doing. <laughs> no, Pippi, it's all good. Also, this is uh, basically a build I'm stealing from Noogie. They're called the uh, characters. Bye. These are on Yen. In, uh, in a Noogie homage. Homage? Homage? Goodbye. Hello. I forgot my portal again. Goodbye. Right, okay. So normally I would have gone back before then. Normally I would go back at prisoners or something. And then go grab the portal here to save backtracking. It is a good tip. You just gotta remember it. Don't be like I am. Oh, and also, I don't have a movement ability for early. Well, I mean, I, I'm already level 10 now. Normally, I would grab dash, to be honest. Dash is very, very nice. Uh, it does get overtaken by, like, smoke mine and flame dash. Uh, until you... Until you get a uh, second wind, and then dash is so nice. Also, there's a neat trick you can do with, like, you can put uh, detonate mines on mouse button 1. Sometimes it feels, it feels like not super smooth all the time. The reason for that is that the attack uh, without moving, you can't actually do that. I cannot um, do this yet. You'll notice that it does feel smoother when putting that down. However, what ends up happening is every time that you zone into a new area, it, um, it will, um, what do you call it? Remove it because it, I, I'm guessing it's, because it's not tied to a gem or anything. It, um... Refreshes the skill. Alright, bonus. That makes sense. Hello. Um, let's see. I do need in... Double trap being deep. We do get int in three levels. I should... No, it's still not enough. Mm -hmm. Um... I don't really want to use uh a... oh, that, that, That's awkward. Mm -hmm. Marauder problems already. You know what? Let's just grab two Take iron care. rings. And just six. Oh, all attributes. That is enough once we get the the int there. Also. Stay sharp. Farewell. Farewell. So Marauder obviously does get an I'll issue travel. pretty early on with intelligence. You could grab versatility, it's not a bad idea. Um especially because you might need both dex and int. Um you could also just, you know, have a different amulet. I do love this though. Smoke mine is so nice because it gives you that small movement speed bonus as well. It's 10%. Right? I think it's 10. It used to be a lot more. Didn't it used to be like 20 or 30? I can't remember. Uh, and generally, I do always do the skill points while leveling. Now, there's not much of a reason to wait with them later. You could argue some are like faster later, but it's not really by much. Me smash me, no need to be smart. Marauder 2020, yeah, pretty much. In a quarter, That's pretty much it. Is this so now once we get the Fairgrave seal point, then we have enough int for flame dash. I normally have smoke mine on space bar, uh, and then detonate. I would either self detonate while pressing D, or like now where I have it on mouse button one, so it's just auto getting detonated just by holding down the mouse button one. Um, and then flame dash I usually have on mouse button five on the second bar. Like, uh, a nice little reminder that not everybody is aware of is that you can bind anything on the second bar. You don't need to have it on control. So, for example, Q, right? I don't have to hold control for that to work. So, I always get a lot of questions. Like, how is he casting that? It's not on his bar. So, that's a, a nice thing. Blum, blum. One more level, and then we get Flame Dash. Then we're a lot faster. And that's like a combo a lot of people use for like racing and speedrunning. Because um, the nice thing about Smoke Mine and, and Flame Dash when you use them like that is that they um, both of them are instant. And you get the movement speed from Smoke Mine. They can take like a lot of people don't like that. It took me a while to get used to. I that that ends. There, and you can just portal out here. You don't actually need to kill this thing. It doesn't really do much.
Yeah, like technically you just have more slots. You don't you can you can bind it to whatever you want. And you don't need like a modifier to hold down. It's the important thing to remember. I cannot Especially do a, a lot of people basically just think that you have to hold something down or what work. There. So normally then I put that on mouse button five and then I would use it like this. Uh, especially later, whenever you do get more cooldown recovery and stuff, then um, you keep that going pretty, pretty nicely. Um, and another thing as well, they're very, very. This combo is very frequently used by um, uh, sorry, Templars and Witches, where you get dark arts or early for even more cooldown recovery and stuff, and that helps a lot. There, that guy's dead. Let's go get our skill point. Yeah. Well, so mouse button 5 I use for my logout macro. Um, I think that's like the best key for it. Let's see, and we can already use... Do I have a blade vortex? Mm -hmm. I can't even Take buy a blade vortex, so that's definitely something I should have had. I don't think I have any at all. Okay, so... Some of the skills you're going to need a second character to get. That's why this isn't intended to be like your first character. As well and and normally like in this case some people would just continue leveling with the thorough knives um also grab yourself a vol version and we'll show off the power of that as well but uh yeah let's see so just vol a couple usually not that many thanks game there we go But yeah, um, a lot of people like leveling this with Armageddon brand as well. How do you deal with dex requirements for gems? Well, we're going to be picking up like dex nodes here and stuff as well. There, so now we have a well blade vortex. Um, now we don't need pierce anymore. We can just ditch a thorough knives. Honestly, we could still use the thorough knives because it is pretty nice for clearing. Um, and we could have Three one gems. for single target. Do I need a helmet? Farewell. I mean, I could grab a green helmet Still and alive, use the binding room. Uh, I'm tempted. Tempted to use both. Stay sharp out there. Very tempted. Also, Blade Vortex gets so nice. Wait, I should have had some scours. Sorry about that. There. Oh, and like I said in the announcement video, I didn't have any fusings in the time. Um... That's because that a fusing crisis at the time. There, let's just have 15 fusing. So this is like the currency stuff that I've prepared. So pretty, pretty normal stuff and don't need chaos orbs for this. Not even wearing seven leg steps. No, I try to make this like super budget, easy to follow, that kind of stuff. Let's see, ethereal knives. We can have this as like a single target with the blade vortex. Uh, actually, we can get one red. We'll just do the same. We'll just do the same setup. Basically, as we had. What little help I can offer is yours. We'll grab another added fire. Then we'll put this up as a single target setup later. Um, there's not that much in terms of single target we can really have it on early on either. Yeah, there's not much we can really put on here. That I can think of. For the actual blade vortex, it doesn't really get much. And, when, and Marauder doesn't get access to other uh, like added lining, added cold, and struggles on requirements. But we don't really need that. Uh, Blade Vortex will be more useful later on. How low of an item can 4 link? Uh, with a Binding Orb, there's no requirement, which is like the really, really nice thing about it. Let's see, let's put Explosive Trap there on E. There, wait. Actually, we'll do this. Normal Blade Vortex there, Evolve Blade Vortex, Mass Button 3. There. Yeah, but combustion would be very little with the with the current. It's not like I'm converting at the moment. And I'd have to recolor, so that's that's not really needed right now. We'll be fine with this. The Vol Blade Vortex alone like, helps so much for bosses early on. Which is what I really want to show off, even on a two link. It's very, very strong. Let's see. Oh nice that. But yeah, once you get uh, once you get some more support gems and stuff, Blade Vortex will probably switch over to completely. Um, 
EK is really nice as long as it as long as it kills and feels good, you can stick with EK basically. That's the that's the only worry I have that at some point it's not gonna be enough damage. Obviously we uh until we get to the Templar clusters, we don't have a lot of damage. I cannot do this yet. Sometimes when holding down the button, um it can feel a little bit clunky. If you're like spam clicking, the smoke mine feels better. Um without the attack in place thing. Yeah, Targal. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting things with the harvest balance. But I mean, I think it's maybe a good thing that they made it so powerful so a lot of people get to like play around with fun crafting. I think it's pretty cool. We'll go to the right here. I don't know what's going to be the best single target here. Maybe explosive trap still. Since we only have one link PV. And then we'll... I'm going to save my... Um, I'm going to save my Wild Blade Vortex for the second stage. After she's gotten rid of her vulnerability stage. So we see the bosses have extra tank for a little bit. And then once that's done. So right now. It'll be fine. You see the Wild Blade Vortex is doing a pretty big difference there. There, there are some like hurdles with being a Marauder Spellcaster and start with heavy lower damage. So that's like one of the nice things with the belt that helps so much. Obviously like all the other classes, you know, like Shadow, Templar, well like pretty much all the classes for leveling a Spellcaster. are gonna have a lot easier time in the start because the first like all the all the starter nodes are basically aimed at spellcaster stuff. All of ours are aimed at life. So yeah, we're we're pretty tanky, but uh Return to Kitaba. We don't have everything. Also, uh some people might be wondering why I'm not wearing a chest as well. Um chests do slow you down. Travel. It's important to remember. They're like five percent movement speed penalty. Oh nice MC. Yeah, they've nerfed or buffed well. Well, doesn't uh, you can actually leave the wall area now? EK is still holding up fine here for uh, clearing. So as long as we can get enough damage early on, we can keep that for a while. And if you don't have a second Quicksilver, a lot of people do the den here to get one. Let's see, we're just rushing straight up to the damage nodes. We don't need more life now, early. We basically already have enough life for like Act 3. We don't even have life on our gear. We just, uh, we're hungering for some damage nodes. And then I, uh, I quite like to just, especially if I see a blue pack, just, uh, or a rare, you can just throw your Wild Blade Vortex and, uh, a lot of the time that's enough to just take it down. It'll be even easier once we actually get links. Later on when we get Unleash, Blade Vortex starts feeling really, Eternal really nice. Empire. And I haven't tried Armageddon mines. Brand for leveling myself, but apparently a lot of people are saying Armageddon Brand is really nice. I haven't tried that. Really nice for killing blue pies. Now, for for the chamber since level 1, remember that the waypoint is always a pointer in the right direction to go. So, for example, we know that we don't have to go further left now, because it always points in the right direction. And the sad thing about these nodes is, um, since they're all elemental damage, a lot of that doesn't really do anything for us right now. And we'll see the biggest difference once we ascend, uh, Chieftain and grab the conversion node. Uh, because with that, and obviously I like, added fire is going to help as well. But, uh, with that and the, um, later avatar fire, then we're 100% conversion. And that's going to make things like elemental overload. Uh, and stuff like that. A very, very strong... Oh. Here, actually, we can just grab that. That'll be a very, very big damage boost. I cannot do this here. Yeah, Alira Helping Alira can be useful. We're not going to do that here. It's pretty easy to rest cap. Um, we don't have any rest stuff right now. But you can very, very easily craft that. Even on your ones, we can craft resist. Um, I think this one is an open prefix. So we can craft damage there if we need it. That's it. I 
Okay, then the Wild Blade Vortex coming in handy. It's going Now we got our Heralds. Let's see if we have enough red sockets. Oh, because I have um, some cold damage from my jewel in my belt. Let's see, this is I throw. That's perfect. Herald of Purity and Herald of Ash. We can do Blade Blast too. That's mostly for leveling. We're not going to use that for a while. Put the barracks in our inventory and you'll see a massive damage boost from that as well. And I think we need level 20 to add some like flat damage. I can't remember uh, exactly what level we can add flat damage. But uh, flat is going to be the way to go. EK still starting to already feel a little bit worse. And then the heralds are going to help with that. Let's grab the other one. Uh, we're going to use a mana potion to solve all our mana issues here as well. Then now I'll just be like using my... Since I see a blue pack, I'll just ditch my well, blade vortex on that. Or maybe on a big pack. Any packs? I'll just throw it down there. It'll kill things while we're moving. I thought there was one theory on Harvest that uh, somebody said like big streamers don't want um, Harvest to do core because it lets new players craft good items and apparently big streamers don't want that. Laughs in solo cell phone mode. See, let's just go straight for Weaver and then we'll do a Lyra in the skill point afterwards. So now we have a pretty like fast pace that we're going at here. Pretty zoom zoom. We'll probably completely ditch the explosive. It doesn't really... There's there's no reason in us having this at all. It's just for like early birders basically. Go. I'm just spin up a little bit before going in here. At the moment, still like pretty. Obviously, we don't have a shit ton of damage right now. There's so much life that uh, there's there's not much of a danger. At least. But yeah, the the first lab is when we're gonna see like the biggest uh, the biggest difference, and we're soon gonna get some elemental damage nodes. We, yeah, we, we can't really fully utilize right now. But getting the um, the like the thing is like there's so many elemental nodes. There, grab Malagaro Spike. Down there, thank for the Twitch Prime dude. Really appreciate that. Yeah, so the ones they're basically you make them with um, grab an item level two wand, uh, which you can. Uh, I normally do a new character. Let's see, let me grab. Actually, we don't even we don't even get something. We're gonna need a different character to buy stuff here. Um we can do fist to lightning early on. Um, that is gonna be very big because it's elemental. Hello. Even though, yeah, we just need any elemental damage. Um but yeah, so item level two wand, which yeah, you level a new character, kill Hillock, then sell a wisdom scroll and a scar to D level to level one, and then everything the vendor sells will be uh, item level two, and then just use jagged fossils on that is what I do. Yeah, we'll get uh Fizz to Lightning. We gotta get a blue link on, on some of our things here. Um and I might we could go grab like control. Yeah, well, right now we could grab control or Ellie yet. Focus. Uh, we're going to kill Alira. Even though resist are nice early on, I want to show off without it because it's so easy to rest cap. There, and then we'll go There's get no skill point. Like magic Mike, thank the 11 months. Witch. Save the um. Where was the road? I, I lost the road. I think it went too high. I did go too high. Let's further down. 
Gotta follow the road. Don't know how I missed it. There we go. There, I'm at level 18. Did he just... He cancelled my Val Blade Vortex. That's just rude. But yeah, Val BB, huge for leveling. Let's see. Um... So I do think we want the same links on both of these. Um... So we do like a Thorough Knives. Tears. Oh, maybe we just keep it on that, and then that's what we'll do. We'll just put Fist of Lightning here. Ideally, I kind of want two blues, but this is also, this is kind of fine for now. We can get a, we can get a new one later, or I can try to recolor my boots, I guess. For like, one green, two blue, one red. Like that. Um, and then... Hello. Let's see, we can buy... Actually, Make Punk it. is going to be pretty nice. Punk is probably going to be the best damage we can get. So we'll just go on a different character and buy this. If you... Um, if you don't have a second character, you're going to need to wait and struggle a lot more until you get to library. So we can just buy, like, controlled, LA focus, stuff like that. Spell Cascade, too. We might need that for Bladeful later. We'll switch to that. Controlled, controlled, Ellie focus and spell cascade. I'll build your recommend for a beginner. It's the Volta Dead Spell Singer. There, and now we'll just throw in um Punk. So we don't really need AoE, especially how we're using it right now for single target. Um and Conk is just really, really high damage multiplier, and it's like any damage. Area damage there. Let's see, so we have... Did I go get this heal point? I did not. Let's go get that. Um, I'm trying some anime weapon builds, but I, I... Especially, like, the United in Dream is very, very hard to get working. I think Impale might be better. And I do have a Paradoxic I could use. We'll see. And also the ring here is going to help a lot. Yeah, I'll, I'll upload all of this to YouTube. Here. People put, enjoy the Play With Me's. Right, let's see. Let's go to my hideout, and then... So, obviously, we don't have much resists right now. So, I can throw, like, cold resist here. Uh, we don't have an open suffix there. I can throw lightning resist here, and, and these are super worth doing for, like, some early resist. And then we'll, we'll get better rings in a second. But, uh, let's see. What can I... I think since we're getting so much flat, I'm actually going to craft spell damage because we have very little of that. So there, 30 spell damage is what we're going to do. And then we see that this is switched around to mouse button 1. Let's see, what are we missing? There. Alright, we need to do Creighton as well. And then we just get more. We're going to grab um, the bottom one here with penetration. So basically it's really, really good against bosses and things like that. That's what you want to find for anything that's resist. Or when you end up in uh, maps later on with uh, resistance. What do you think with Blade Vortex? Right now it is uh, concentrated effect, fist to lightning, added fire, and Blade Vortex. And, and we're using that right now to kill bosses and stuff. Hoping, yeah, it did stay on him. So now, already now, you see that the damage is up quite a bit. Bandit King. Up quite a bit. I'm gonna go down here and grab the waypoint. To the left here. Maybe not. Bad layout. Bad layout read. Um, and then at level 20, we get the ring. It's going to be a very, very big damage boost. See, and we'll go grab Creighton now as well. And then we get two more skill points. Especially with Wild Blade Vortex. It just helps so much for the bosses. 
Um, and obviously we don't have our onslaught or any like utility stuff on it. It's just pure damage. Good morning, Ziz. Hi. What's up? How you doing? Especially in every zone with uh, with a bus, I will make sure that I try to keep the Vile Blade Vortex for it. The EK feels a lot nicer with the Career Ward as well. Um, obviously the power speed helps early on. Ah, where do you go? There. Hey, Eric, man, what's up? Um... So generally you want to follow a guide when you're new to Path of Exile that like shows you what to do. Mine are fairly step by step and I normally don't recommend rangers for the start. Even like a lot of experienced players struggle on making rangers work as well. They're very very rough early especially as a first character where you don't have a lot of the gear you want. Let's see so there now we get divine judgment 50% increased elemental damage now obviously only like probably like 60% or something of our spell right now is uh, elemental damage which sucks. Um, you know, you could, in a pinch, also grab the conversion here. I don't really feel like that's needed. How much is that? Say like 40%. We get, we get very quickly the Avatar Fire stuff too, so... I don't think it's needed. And that matters a lot more when we get Elemental Overload, which is even later as well. No boss here, so just throw Val BB down on blues. Let's just pull that in. Okay. Will this be a VD spell singer? It will not. Blade full, blade blast. I cannot do this yet. Can't or won't. I think your guides are too great, but for truly new players, they're too brief. I have a friend that's following your VD spell singer and has lost on a lot of points. I mean, I'm sure there are things we can do to improve it, but there's only so basic you can go until you're at the point where you have to like explain left and right clicks. But including the notes section, like, I don't know, maybe he missed the fact that there's a note section. Because that does like explain it very, very well. With, with every build. Like, it, it even tells you, it goes as far as to tell you where to buy every gem. So, I, I don't think I'd be comfortable making them more beginner friendly than that. Like, that is already, like, pretty insane that we're saying exactly where to buy every beginner gem and stuff like that. And and if somebody doesn't want to read the notes, that's not on me. Thank you, my ancestors. Like, I've had, I've had so many players that have played the game for the first time. And, and several of them, while obviously like being players that play a lot of games, they've killed Awakener in their first league with that build. So I'm pretty happy with how it's gone. And I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty open to specific feedback. If you if there was like anything specific that you think was lacking or that they got confused by. But um, I think they are fairly beginner friendly right now. I don't I can't think of what more to add to make it more step by step. I am open to suggestions. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna grab, um, how much these are worth it? They are, like, so much damage, but they're not a fire spell, so it would just be for the extra and the elemental and fizz. I think we'll grab them a little bit later. Oh, nice run. Oh, nice shadow. I, I think a lot of the time, it is people not watching the notes section, or not watching the full guide, and then being confused. Yeah, okay. Fireball? I'm not sure. This is gonna be Blade Buff, Blade Ball. Yeah, that's that's the biggest problem we've had with builds so far. The when people grab the path of building and don't oops, when people grab the path of building and don't read um, anything else. There, so now we're gonna get the barracks and let's look at our stats stat change a little bit. So just on EK, you can see that it goes from 597 to 773. So that's like 160 damage, and the Vile Blade Vortex, 
gets like 80. Um, and these are, uh, when I checked in Harvest, there were one chaos. Uh, I'm, I'm probably just going to use one here. But, um, yeah, they're incredibly good. How much of our damage is elemental right now? You know what? It, it probably is worth grabbing all the conversion ones. We'll go the bottom side. I cannot do this yet. Nice, Jeffy. Thanks so much, dude. How are you doing, Jeffy? Right, and, and I mean, I, I never, I don't mind if somebody's like experienced and just grabs the POB. The only problem I have with people following guides is you're following a guide, you grab the POB, and then start complaining without watching the video. That is a very frustrating experience as a content creator. Because I, I have people like very often come by and ask questions that are clearly explained in the video. So they've just clearly skipped the video and are expecting me to answer them. That's very frustrating. So I spend a lot of time making those with uh, other people as well, it's not just me. So. Frustrating experience. It's only conversion if it's that type of skill. Yeah, that's what I just explained. That's what I just explained. So we're taking this only for the fist as extra, the elemental damage, and the fist. Here's the fist and LA damage still go in full effect once we have 100% conversion. So it's basically going to be 24% increased damage and 5% more damage. But we don't get the, um, we, we are not going to get the fist damage converted to fire. Rare packs? I don't kill that many, I don't focus too much on rares. I focus a lot on, um, blue packs. How are you doing, Free casting here. I probably should have instantly Val BV. I could have killed him, but I was thinking I would get him on the way up instead. And boom, he's dead. Let's see the new Val Oversoul. What? This is still super slow. I give this warrior of Kitana Hello? to you, to Kohan, Somebody lied to me. They said it was way faster. That's still like way too slow. Why did they edit it and not make it faster than that? That's insane. It is, good to feel your again, right? it is faster? Yeah, but it's still so slow. What? I was expecting it to be instant. So we didn't have to portal out anymore. Alright, let's talk to Clarissa. Uh, I mean, it is faster, but I was expecting faster than the current faster. Why are you not using a test? Boom, speed penalty. And we don't need one. See you there? And like, 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 we can take a look now. So we'll look at the EK, right? 762, and it gets um, up to 820 from that one node. So it is a pretty decent change. Um... I might go straight for Elemental Overload, actually, instead of grabbing the the nodes here. Although the resist is so nice. Hmm. Hard life choices. Do I go straight for EO? I mean, I should have enough damage, because it is enough damage I just taking those two. We don't have that much increase. Yeah, we'll go for the, the Templar stuff, too, first. The resists are so nice. I still Acceleration Shrine there. Look at that projectile speed. Boom. And yeah, our damage is pretty decent. Pretty decent damage. Um, I, and I always feel like the biggest change in these builds is when you get unleashed for the blade vortex. Honestly, we can use EK the entire time. Unleash Blade Vortex could be really... Sorry, Blade... Uh, Ethereal Knives is what I mean. That's the word I was looking for. Unleash Ethereal Knives could be really fun. You know what? I, I like. I would love leveling with Ethereal Knives. I would love having enough damage for that. It's just like such a fun skill. And I don't really need Ring of Blades for what I'm doing. 
which would be pretty hard to fit. You're simply too stupid to be realistic. Yeah. Aren't you brute? That's me. And like without the wild blade vortex, you'd probably be struggling quite a lot more. Let's see, I think we're gonna go grab... Let's grab that on a different character, because I don't think Marauder gets access to it, but let's grab Skitterbots. Because I think pretty much Skitterbots and Herald of Ash should be all I need, and probably Herald of Purity should be all I need for leveling. Um, that I don't really want to use Anger or Hatred or anything like that. Yeah, I've seen... Wait, Quinn only died on one character, right? Skitterbots and why they're so good and used on so many characters is because that they will shock and chill enemies. Uh, and the shock is 15% more damage, basically. Died on three characters? The fuck? Really? I actually have, I haven't even seen those. So let's, uh, let's grab Skitterbots. Did you do it intentionally, Bye. or...? Anger like him? I'm, I'm not 100% sure like him. Uh, and this is like, like I've said, I did it by trying bosses. Oh, okay. No, that's, that's not uh, fair. Like, I do that a lot too. I'll try a lot of rippy stuff at the end of the league. Not so much lately, but I used to do that where I would do like crazy min max bosses on the last day of the league and stuff. That's always fun. Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's fine. Cause I know he was pretty done anyway. That's fine. There'll always be people trying to give him shit for that though. Um... I'm not going to use Skitterbots now because I don't really feel I need the damage and I'd rather have more mana until I get like maybe a decent mana flask. Enduring mana flask is really nice. Probably not going to roll for one though. Um, that. I there. cannot do this yet. Can't you? Can't you be it? Right, we're just going to go through the life nodes here now. So we've got a decent amount of damage. Let's see, what layout is this? I think this one's fairly rare. My mana is gone. When do you do a sensi? Um, once I get to Crystal Veins, it's at the point then where most characters, uh, with very few exceptions, are gonna like very have a very very smooth Zaro. Um, and until then, you don't really need your ascendancy for the most part either. There's a little gap on your camera. Better? How do we slaves were once bought and sold by pigs? Let's see. But yeah, Skitterbots is like basically used on anything. Um, a lot of things that shock themselves won't use it. But uh, yeah, then you obviously don't need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bladefall. Not sure how early we'll switch. Whatever's the faster for leveling is probably what I'll do with. Whatever feels the best. I love like dumping the Val BV behind me and watching you kill things. It's great. Thanks for a minute. And the the weapons that we're using, these can last us all the way to laying game. Like plus one fist fist gem like, that's completely fine all the way to laying game. Completely. Which is great. It's it's so awesome that we can like do that. Like have literally a level two weapon that is like very cheap to craft. It's like, I mean, you can get it on your first character too. I sometimes do, but uh, yeah, can be annoying to get us that. Sometimes in like very very hard leagues, what I'll do is I'll like keep making new characters to check the vendors. Um, so for example, the China race um, that I was playing in, something that can be really, really nice in those is to do um, new characters until you get plus one gems early on. So that you can just like basically have super gear for early. Because you will, you will find them. They are fairly common on new characters. 
You can craft them how? Um, jagged fossils on item level 2. That's what I do. There. No, Durgy. I think in every level, especially on like EK and Blade Vortex, the levels help so much early on. So obviously right now our Blade Vortex is level 6, which is nice. Just randomly throw down our Blade Vortex. You know, just the XP bar just goes off in the distance. See, what else do we need? More life. Now we have this 700 life already. Way. And that's the thing that's pretty so nice about this. Lifeless. We do get like pretty okay damage and we want to get to the point where we feel like we have great damage uh, and we get so much life. So much life and we have access to a lot. And later on we'd want to be like max block with dancing blows. Um, super late game. I haven't fully decided if I want to do like max block with dancing blows or... Uh, which something I could think would be really cool would be like the Red Blade Banner, the infinite power one. With, um, we can do, for example, Enduring Cry. Uh, and that'll always put it at max Enduring Starters. That makes having cast for damage taken Immortal Call super viable. Uh, and then we could do, there's a green Timeless Legion Jewel that could be really fun to experiment with. Basically, it means that armor doesn't work on percentage fist mitigation anymore, but that it works on elemental damage. So you can actually block, or sorry, use your armor against like fire damage incoming. Uh, so then, and you, you obviously, you lose some, you lose max rest? I can't remember. That's, I think the, the problem is that you lose max rest, if I remember. So degens are going to be annoying. Because armor doesn't work against degens. So if you do use the, tra I think it's called transcendence then you don't want it to be a character like that's going to delve and stuff because there are degens there. You may don't need any of those. And right now we might as well go back. That's your point. No, this is about a special build type we're talking about. This is only if you have the Transcendence Keystone done. Normally I don't ever bother with armor. Uh, let's see. Throw a few else on it. Don't want instant. I hate instant. On these. Ideally, I want like recovery rate. Just like way too many ults for this. Okay, you know what? Just keep it. That's fine. What's this, Vicious? What, what are we asking? So we're gonna go grab these here. Three levels. We're actually like almost under leveled now. I've been going a little too fast without killing that much. At one point you get one shot in delve anyway. Right, but not on hardcore. You don't go that far. Oh, right. I mean, I take glancing blows super early when I have a shield. I basically instantly take it. Now this guy can be a little scary because his molten shell will actually explode and that can oops accidentally turn on skid about my mana This is where I've died one time in a play with me. Because I don't always have the most resist this early, so Gravacious is actually pretty rippy. So I have 44% rest already. Uh, I should already have gotten a two stone ring and crafted some resist on that. Ideally, you want to get like one rest out on it and then um, vendor craft the other. Our gloves are pretty bad now as well. So I could look into just alking some gloves and crafting a suffix on them. I cannot do this. And then we'd be rest kept already pretty much. We're about to get some rest from the skill tree. That'll help a lot. Very long far speed. Just gonna skip past that guy. He can like, well, not really for us one shot us, but you know, he does do a lot of damage. We're mostly one banging pack. So we're level 26. 
Um, let's go get a two stone ring. I think I want to get a cold and lightning ring. And let's see. Hmm, that is problematic. I do need intelligence. So I'm actually going to grab... There's nothing else here that gives int until I get further in. So we're just going to grab a 30 int node. Marauder does struggle a lot with int early on. So that is annoying. So mm -hmm. I think I'll grab actually just a pure lightning ring if there's one for sale. Fire and lightning. That's fine. Throw an alc on it. We hit one lightning rest. That's perfect. Um, and then I'll just craft cold resist on this. And then we're basically... I'm pretty happy with my resist because we're about to get more skill points. And I'm not even wearing a chest yet still. I, I, I can put on a chest, right? Uh, there, we'll just craft the one now. That is actually quite a nice ring. Two more skill points and then we get resist. Pure stone is a guaranteed blessing. Um... I think guaranteed unique to just not which specific one. Maybe it's not guaranteed unique. Oh, whoops. This keeps resetting. It's really Quiety. annoying. You are truly Kitava's the slave. The fireman. A daughter of corruption. There. And then the next nodes are going to be damage. And once we get to elemental overload, we'll see a pretty decent spike there. Let me kill a little bit more. We've been running a bit too fast. So fast. Compared to like a uh, witch or a shadow run, this is pretty slow, but we're also like explaining a lot on the way. Drop one more on a blue pack or something. There we go. Yeah, uh, a thorough knife still feeling pretty good. A little bit less damage than I'd want on blue packs. Like, it is really, really nice to one shot everything while leveling. But, uh, pretty acceptable damage. And again, this is like very, very cheap stuff. Very, very obtainable stuff. Well, uh, after piety, I'll do a quick overview on what I'm using. For those of you who haven't, like, caught it. Now I don't want to use my little blade vortex anymore because I want to save that for piety. I want to make sure I always have that for, for every boss. So tomorrow we'll do a man versus stream. It'll be fun. There, the well blade vortex taking quick care of the boss. Where did she go? No. Ow. Smoke mine on top of her and then she doesn't hit you a lot. There. You know what? Let's ID that just in case it's enduring. It is not. Yeah, on Tuesday we're going to do Bob Ross. That's going to be interesting. Um, hit marker, thank you so much for the tier two Pine sub and 51 dies. months in a wow. row. Good to see you, dude. How you doing? Let's see. Now we're going to grab that. So we'll see that our, well, we'll look at our damage first. It's going to be 490. And then up to 75 at rest here, basically. No, not this time, Jeffy. Well, I'm going to be playing Path of Diablo. It's like a mod for Diablo 2. Very, very cool the mod for Diablo 2. Adds a lot of Path of Exile things. So, if you don't have a second character and you've been struggling to get here, this is where you want to do library now, because that lets you buy every gem so far, basically, that other classes can buy. I'm pretty against, like, character locking of gems. I think it's pretty outdated and pointless. Um, and only really affects day one and mostly only people who race, but, uh, yeah. Let's see... Uh, 
And it usually just makes us have to do mule characters. Not like it actually locks anything. There. The class fantasy though is a thing, but it you still have access to all the gems. So I, I, I'm not quite sure I understand what you mean by class fantasy. Like now I can just go library and have access to all the gems anyway. That's what I mean. Bit weird. There. That would make more sense if, you know, characters couldn't use it. Like, Marauder just couldn't use blue gems. But since we have access to all the gems anyway, then it makes less sense. It's a bit outdated. And it is more of an inconvenience than anything. Because it ends up that players make a second character and play five to ten minutes on that to buy the gems you need instead. Like, that's, that's the practice of it. That's why I feel like it's a bit outdated and silly. It's not adding anything to the game. There's no benefit. It made more sense before. Well, actually, probably never made sense, but... Very, very outdated. We checked out Project Diablo a little bit, yeah. It's cool. Let me get with more and more ARPGs and mods and stuff coming. I cannot do this yet. I'm gonna run through here. You see, I need the start requirements kind of stop you from going spells on the start where you don't have uniques, etc. Yeah, like you're still not gonna see like a shit ton of like somebody somebody was making the argument to me that if if Marauder could buy if Marauder could buy spell gems at level one, nobody would be leveling with melee. Well, that's obviously not true, right? For the most part, it's it's very annoying. Like most people wouldn't be leveling their melee characters that they actually want to be melee with spells. If they had, a, we already have access to spells, right? Like, you can already buy spell gems. You just make a separate character. This is not like that's what's stopping us. But unlocking all gems would make quest rewards kind of obsolete. No, I mean, you still need to do the quest. I'm not saying you should always have them online. And you can still have, like, those gems being offered, right? The same gems is now being offered. Just that if a witch could buy out a lightning, so can a marauder. You still have the quest. It doesn't make the quest obsolete at all. It's exactly the same function as right now. Literally exactly the same. No difference. See, I will probably save my. Ooh. I will probably save my. Um, well, Blade Vortex until the second Brutus. I don't have an instant life flask either, which is annoying. I usually like having that. Just start including that in my. Class setup. It, it doesn't remove the purpose of library. You have to do library for loads of skills for any character. You don't only do library if you're wanting something from a different class. Oh. Like for example, there there are loads loads of skills that require. So they, I I the the argument that it like yeah no it's it's not a valid argument. It does not invalidate the, the quest at all. They're exactly the same as they are now. Right, now we're just gonna like stand here and cast this. Uh, yeah, this will be full fire conversion. Full fire conversion, blade vast, blade full. We are actually level 29 now. So I can um, grab my, I have my blade full here. Don't know if I'll use that this early. I mean, I could do. Because I can, I can make a chest as well. Will you be watching Bay Class? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to. I'll ask Tarky, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I know some people have been said they are not allowed to watch it on stream, but I'm not sure. I, I, think, I don't think it would be a problem, but I already had this scheduled for now. I don't think it would be a problem. But yeah. I, I uh, had this scheduled and planned like a week ago. Let's 
Este. Throw a Val BB down there. Ah, he got away. No, I want to kill it just because it's so low. There we go. No, no, it's just that I I would want to ask permission before watching somebody else's stream live on my stream. I cannot do this yet. Yeah, I play D and D every Thursday. Every Thursday, right? Let's uh let's see how that I'm is watching. for single third because I haven't tried it this early. I'm trying to think what links I would want. Uh, let's grab... I'm probably gonna need hybrid links. So we'll just grab that for a binding on it. Perfect. Hey, nice resistance too. Well, I'm almost camped for a wise oak. You know, that is actually something you could use if you happen to be like, you know, 82, 82, 82 while leveling. Not bad. Um... Right, let's see. Where's... Where did I put the blade boss? Here. Uh, Blade Fall. Blade Fall, I would want Spell Cascade. So I want two blue. I probably have that here. Play Blade Fall. Spell Cascade. And then I would want Unleash here. For sure. Um, I can just do LA Focus for now, I guess. Do I even need another green? Let's see. Let's say let's uh let's go yoink a little bit because obviously I'm uh Nugi was the main idea for this build, so we're gonna be yoinking a lot from Nugi. In. And this is a good thing to show off too. You can do this with any streamer, just like whoosh, retrieving character list. SSF harvest. Where's his chieftain? Yoink. All right, let's see, what's his spite fall? Unleash spell cascade combustion. Ooh, that does sound nice, combustion. Uh, let's get a third blue then. So I probably should have had an energy shield chest piece. Give me one, gr one green. Other way around. See? I regret everything. There we go. There. And then combustion we can buy. Yeah, yeah. Almost any anyone that has their profile open. Take care. Be well. Right, let's see. There, and then... Oh, let's go Yoink Blade Flask, too. Let's just see what it's using. Let's see, I don't want to use Inspiration for leveling. Any focus control... I wonder how good Intensify is. Can't use that until later, though. Uh, let's see. I wish I had more, like... More blue sockets. Let's go get some new gloves, too. What character are you working from? Um, that is, uh, what was it called? Havoc's Apprentice in New Gian's profile. That's confusing, isn't it? Uh, let's grab now? like a blue glove. Like an ES glove would be nice. I mean, that that's fine. You will be remembered. Thanks. Don't forget me. That is pretty much the links I was hoping for, and we have, yeah, they're pretty good. Oh, of course, of course. Well, then at this point, now versatility makes... Oh, precision would be even... No, actually, it doesn't have both. So, um, at this point, I'm just going to take versatility because it is both dex and int. Just makes my life easier. Yes, conk on his blade falls so the blades fall closer together. Oh. Oh, right, because he's in a helmet or something, right? Yeah, he's in a helmet with conk. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'll do that. That is a good call, my dude. Uh, let me go buy a conch more then. One more conch effect. Was the first build you ever made? Uh, my first build was a witch on hardcore. Hello. Firestorm and zombies. JC Bass, thank for the two year free sub. Dude, thanks so much. Really appreciate the sub. Was it good? No! It died. It was my first character in Harker and died like level 58, 59, thereabouts. 
Let's see, Kunk. Wait, actually, Kunk's here. Instead. I think that is gonna be the, the setup. Oh, but I will I will want to unleash. I will probably ditch combustion or conk for unleash. Can you try to make it go now? No. Let's see, let's put blade blast. I have a red socket. Let's see, what was it new you was using? Joink joink joink. Firepan. I mean, I could use... Firepan isn't that great while leveling. Intensified on a Maxis tool. LA Focus. I mean, I could just use Added Fire for now anyway. I don't have full conversion. Um, and then just LA Focus and Control is fine. That should be completely fine for leveling. And we'll, we'll compare that versus the setup we're currently using. With, um... What do you call it? Blade Vortex and stuff? Yeah, Argus when he enrages is very, very dangerous. He just killed all the bandits. We killed them all there. Added fire isn't Take the best, care. but it works for what links we have. Awesome. It's it's just already not the best gem. It's just it's the same as like 30% more damage, basically. It doesn't get worse after conversion. It's just already not that great. It's fine early because we don't have many other things. Um, let's see. Do I need any other potions? Actually, once you hit level 28, a granite flask, especially if you're playing on hardcore, the is very, very big. No respect for their land. Let's see. So, um, where's the blade boss? So, like, the way it ends up playing late game would be like this. Um, What's now, Nugi was showing me he has an explosion chest, so he's basically going around just blade blasting everything. But it would be like this late game, so it is. Similar to Contagion ED guns. in playstyle, uh, and the explosion chest helps it. a lot. I cannot do this yet because obviously uh, it can it can be a little clunky to clear like this. So I'll probably just keep using EK for as long as it feels good. Because right now we're going around one blasting everything. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot more single target. That's nice. And then once we ascend and get the conversion on everything, it's going to be even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're pretty slow. We're pretty slow cast speed. They're actually getting a little bit more cast speed there. We don't really need the life nodes already. We'll probably grab them anyway and then go for elemental oh, overload. So I'm using Val BV still for bosses. It's so nice to have a Val skill. They're like very, they're generally very strong anyway. So having a Val skill to just ditch on bosses is really great. And BV is going to be like one of the main things for leveling. I'm just like ditching it there, like that's just the Val BV that took out that like unique mom. It feels really good. Kitava. Rip you died? I'm sorry, dude. This is gonna be Blade Blast, Blade Fall, Chieftain. Forward in. Okay, skill points at the bottom. Absolutely the door blade blade fall. Sorry, uh um, blade work face, slow blade work Like so nice. So even if I'm not using like normal blade vortex much anymore, and that could change that like, I could do unleash and use that perfectly for leveling too. Like blade vortex is very strong then. But uh just having the blade Val version is really nice. Yeah, we'll put this up on YouTube. Um there, we'll grab at least that and some life around it and then we'll head over and get elemental overload 
Now that we're in Crystal Veins, once we get the waypoint here, we go ascend. Uh, and then we will have a lot of conversion. You will feast no longer, Kitava. And soon we'll the be able to ditch the, um, what do you call it? Fist of Lightning. And we'll be full fire. Wait, what do you mean? This is when you don't have to go back to Act 8 anymore to talk to Clarissa. I'm not sure what you mean. You still need to get this heal point from Tolman. You always do. So forth, my BB. Right, so now we're gonna ascend. Um, normally for this, I would recommend a instant life flask if you don't have one. Um, they can be a pain to roll sometimes, which sucks, obviously. Oh nice, catalyze. That's what I want. Catalyze or enduring. I mean, enduring is better. May so. fear guide you. See, so. One with recovery rate, that's nice. If you don't get an instant, like keeping Bye. a recovery rate one is good. And you can check the vendor. Wait. Hello? Game? Really? No life last for sale? Okay, that's just unfair. Um, that's just cruel. We'll just grab that then. I do. Uh, you know what? Let's just roll one. Okay, game hates me. I didn't get one. Let's just suffer through us if I didn't have one. Yes. Let's just suffer. Go where you are needed. Nice game. No, annoyance aren't removed by that. Hey, Prince, what's up? You stand before the gates of the Lord. All right, here we go. Within Oops. Let me ascend. And remember, like, opening PUE lab can be pretty good if you need to. Um, Generally, just going in the top right and, like, normally you don't really need to. But especially uh, a really good use for PUE lab and the main thing I use it for is just to check, um, especially on, like, the further labs, if he's using the mace or if he's using, like, dual swords or sword and shield. Because that is the number one thing that I care about. Uh, whenever he is a mace, it is nearly impossible to die once you're like pretty like comfortable with his moves because uh, it's so slow his slam is just like he goes like this and then slam and does loads of damage but it's like pretty impossible to get hit by the slam um when you get to like a comfortable level do you have mana leech and use mana for skills to technically with constant mana leech no you don't also, this is something, so if you see right now, as soon as it's taking some damage, it's going to throw the Reflect. It'll always wait till it has taken damage to throw the Reflect. Um, so you could like kill it now then, after. Uh, and that's completely fine. You just want to make sure that it doesn't um, wait for you with the Reflect. Because, yeah, you can you can very, very easily kill yourself. I'm trying to remember if all Blade Vortex can get Reflected. Yeah, I remember right now. Only one of your lessons. Oh, nice, Iraqi Grats. That's sick. Let's see, we'll grab up to Retribution and probably don't need much more life then. And we don't really need AOE. While BB is safe? Okay, sweet. I was free out. Oh, so much damage with the Bladeful Blade Blast already. Now, there's no need for Dark Shrines here, but, you know, you might as well. Dark oh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, right. Right, reflect? Yeah, so the cold lieutenant reflect. I shouldn't have gone in here, but just follow through. Um, and, a, and a lot of people will stand around. Like, the, the problem with them is that people don't know how they work mechanically. So a very common thing you'll see people do and die to is they'll stand around, wait, and be like, okay, I've waited long enough now, and then they'll attack. But that thing doesn't do it based on time. It's based on it needs to take damage. So technically, with like crazy high damage builds, you could just go and insta-kill it before he gets to cast it. But um, 
What I do is I'll tap it, wait for it to cast, wait for it to go away, then it goes on cooldown. And then you can do it. Yeah, this is gonna be. Jump on me. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. That's neat. You are a dead. You were born. So much damage. I like that. Wisdom is the offspring of suffering and time. Waka change for Stalia? Is Vortex with Bone Chill to get Bone Chill? Mainly if I had Ellie Focus, will I lose the Bone Chill? Uh, with, uh, with Vortex, yes. Cold Snap, no. Cold Snap adds chilled ground. But Vortex itself is the one chilling. But with Cold Snap, that would be fine because, yeah, chill ground. So with, with Cold Snap, that would be fine because of chill ground. Why Marauder? We're going Chieftain. No other class can ascend as Chieftain. Wait, I'm pretty sure it doesn't reflect. I'm trying to remember now. Did it stay on it? Pretty sure Nova still reflects. I don't even know anymore. There. We are almost done. Then we get a nice little power spike there. Because right now we still have a lot of fist damage, even on the skills using Fist of Lightning. And then with that and Avatar of Fire, then we're full fire damage. Do remember that this is, will disable stuff. An aspirant can Minor builds like... Ball Lightning? Yeah, they're really strong. The mm -hmm. Yeah, full fire conversion. There, we'll just grab that from cast speed, and then we'll go up, grab Avatar Fire and Elemental Overload. Oops. Receive your sentence. My mana is gone. You and you're dead. So very high damage from that early on, and obviously we didn't have Val skills ready. Peace. I don't care much about the glove enchant. What I do want is Chieftain. There, and then every 10 seconds gain 100 fist as extra fire. That's pretty nice. So whenever that's online, we'll notice a huge damage boost. Very, very big damage boost. So we're risk capped already. We're just using random stuff. We can craft more resist as well. Uh, we can craft more resist on my chest. We could craft more on my wand too instead of spell damage. Yeah, I'll be going out to our fire. But I'm using EK as long as that feels nice. As soon as that stops feeling nice or I start having to like think more about it, then I'll probably just ditch it and be slightly slower with Blade Blast and uh, Blade Fall. Obviously, that's going to be clunkier. Because it'll be like, you know, like this. Blue Plex, I'm already noticing a damage decrease though, which sucks. But for killing the white mobs, they're very, very fast. But maybe I should already use Blade Blast and Blade Fall on the blue mob. Because like, even here, it's probably going to one-shot the rare, yeah. That's actually a good thing to mention. So remember that when you have Avatar of Fire, things like it's it's actually surprisingly common because there should be zero people doing it. But it's surprisingly common to see people using it zero as promise on Avatar of Fire builds. And it's very easy to forget about. But remember, you yet. can't get any chaos damage. And with Avatar of Fire, like if you have like added full damage, so for example from a ring, that will get half of it. Will get converted. Obviously, our ring's still good because it has percentage fire damage. Uh, I doubt I'll be using Catalyst Thirst on any build. I just wanted to, but. And here, like, we didn't even need Blade Blast, right? It just, like, oop, well, skill. And a nice little trick here. So, you see, we're level 34 and now coming up on a 38 zone. 
So to not risk getting more under level, we usually don't go all the way to the rest though. Because you'll get more XP by doing half of both each. Is Al following Nugin's build too? I don't know. I haven't like It's a really good build though. Right, let's go the grab Avatar Fire. We don't need AoE or anything like that. Here. I don't know if Alk is copying Nugi as well, maybe. He is a strong build. I really want to get a Brass Dome for this. It'd be really nice, I think. I love using that chest. It's just, it looks so cool. I just can transfer it, but it's so expensive and hard to get. I buy new Exile. In SSF, is it worth farming aqueducts if you still haven't found a 16 by low 70s? Um, I normally just follow the wild side areas, which I open by, you know, the, the sacrifice of midnight, dusk, dawn, and noon. If you put one of those in the map device with no map, then it opens a wild side area, and they have a pretty big chance of dropping a corrupted 16. And then if you don't get the colors that you can use instantly, you can recolor it using wild orbs and chromes in the skill crafting bench. Which Blade Blast skill unnerves enemies? Um, just Blade Blast itself. It's just instantly unnerved when using Blade Blast. Also, remember that we have Onslaught on the EK too, so if we really needed to, we could switch to like a Silver Flask. And get one more damage support link. damage. Oops, I'm out of mana. But yeah, so bosses are feeling pretty smooth right now. Love an instant blast. Um, CI, but you don't want to go CI and Spell Slinger because you don't get to do discipline. You want to do, if you want to be ED and you want to be low life or, or CI, you ideally want to be self cast, not spell singer. In my opinion. Let's see, let's go grab the death rate skill point. I don't think I have that. Nope. On 12. There. And then one more level. We have that. Go kill Dareso. I didn't click it. How do people die with 10k HP in one second? Well, like, just our IHP isn't, like, that tanky. Um, like, for example, you can have a character with 4,000 life be tankier than a character with 10,000 life, right? Um, but the problem with it, usually the people that do have 10k life, you can still die in one second with that, just because some, some damage in the game is, like, insane. There's a few things that do, like, AoE overlapping. Like, maybe you're only supposed to be hit, get hit by one thing, but you're getting hit by seven. There's uh, a few things that just aren't like balanced in the best way. Yeah, EK is still like surprisingly good to be honest. No, the the metamorph DD thing that's something actually people lie about. Uh, it it didn't do it never did 250 thousand damage. The guy you saw die with 250 thousand energy shield, and the reason he died was because he was using a uh, a Doriani timeless jewel. That made 50% of the damage goes through his life. So it probably took like 30 or 40,000 damage, which is still a lot, but it's grossly exaggerated when people are saying it took 250,000 damage. 
There was not that much. That's nice. Oriathans. How they love to sing about them. That's why on hardcore we weren't doing, or at least I wasn't doing that, because of DD and, and being scared of that. Let's see. We also have second wind that we could fit in somewhere. I'm not even using that, so maybe we could get green, green, blue on this. That'd be quite nice. Very low. There's no, like, it's a, it's got 10 in, so. Awesome, I did get it. Uh, we'll throw Skitterbots nowhere for now. Honestly, I'd rather just have more mana. Then we'll grab second win, which is going to make us go even faster. I mean, yeah, 30k is still a lot, but Detonate Dead is like a slow skill that's supposed to kill you. Let's see. There. That's fine. That's fine. Wasn't this... Wasn't this New Yin's that you started too, Kinteshi? I thought it was. The way to I don't know, I just knew you playing it. I didn't know if you got it from country. But that's awesome. Hey Uni, what's up? Piety should be super easy. Here. Like every boss where we get to like pre-stack our blade falls is gonna be super nice. Give internet points. Yeah, I saw like some some like there was some drama about Quinn and channel points. It was, like, stupid. Like somebody who was giving credit for it was complaining that they were stealing ideas. It's crazy. Yeah, there's a, a lot of people playing Bladeful Blade Blast. I know Lily and Crying were doing Assassins. Maybe you did Chieftain. Uh, and the Chieftain version just looks a lot more like Hardcore Viable. Damn it. I love the dead ends in this place. Let's see. I haven't eaten breakfast today either. There, Avatar Fire. So let's take a little look. Um, we're going to be losing some of the cold and... and uh, Lightning damage. We're gonna be removing the uh, the fist to lightning now. Let's see, which is currently only on blade vortex. We'll go put like control or something. Nice win. Nice uni. Uh, but let's look at uh, what's the best example right now. So bladefall doesn't have anything. So let's look at bladefall just by taking avatar of fire. Uh, it goes up like 200 damage there. And the big difference is going to be when it's elemental overload. Because if some of our damage was physical, then that wouldn't be getting like the extra, which is uh, bad obviously. Do I have any support gems ready? And I don't have... Okay, we'll just continue with this because I don't... I can't be bothered losing my portal. Lost me. Where are you, Piety? And then once we get the waypoint, I'll go to replace the Fist of Lightning. So that's kind of wasted. Kind of wasted. Doesn't really matter much for just Piety. You've done well, could be Brute, super easy. But let's not get above ourselves. My mana is gone. Having Arcane Surge on Flame Dash would be nice too, just for the little extra boost there. Kinda ran out of gem slots. Calm wasn't half the man you are, Marauder. Oh, that's nice. That's a big compliment for this guy. There. It's pretty like decent temperature here today, at least. Piety. When was the last time you saw the sun I will exile? There, so still like rest cap, we're doing good. We're gonna go buy control destruction or actually we'll do alley focus because controlled will 
I'll buy a couple of books because I have some. It's like, I hate reloading new characters. Another Kunk too, just in case I need that. There. We got a couple of gems. Harata with the raid. Thank you so much, dude. And Wayne Beast, thank you for the four months resub. Um, how was your stream, Harata? What'd you get up to today? We can get rid of that now. They already have Kunk, so we'll throw Ellie Focus in. I don't need to do any ignites or anything. Control the LA focus. There. Perfect. Rolls on crazy gears. Nice. Yeah, it's a crazy fun league, dude. I love it. What build are you playing? I'm just doing a play with me at the moment. So we're doing a Marauder Chieftain to like level 70. A body to kill for. Imagine if you could detonate your blade, uh, while blade war tank. Oops. Mana is so annoying. I really want an enduring class. But... Your sickness. Yeah, index. Should be really good for that. Obviously, I haven't tried it myself again, but I've seen what Noogie's doing. You have 15,000 EES? Holy shit, I have 10k. Wait, you must have gone kind of overboard on, like, ES then. What's your damage? That's crazy. That's crazy high. That's decent damage. You should see my gear? I should, apparently. Oh, but that's super low ED, though. That's super low. Do you get Arcane Surge normally as well? Let's see, we can just throw... Dodra is, like, the scariest one. She actually can be scary, so... Throw the Vob BB on her. It's in my gloves too. I have 460 or something. Now, slave. 460 or 480. And I have 10k ES. I, I want more way. ES, but still, like, that's... I don't know. I feel like your ED is super low. The yeah, Arcane Search from Contagion. Oh, right. I get Arcane Search. So wait, that's... You're counting without Arcane Search, right? The damage? Mine's from Flame Dash. Yeah, okay, cool. That's, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm surprised. You, I feel like you've gone a little overboard on ES. And I don't have a plus 2 amulet yet. So once I get a plus 2 amulet, I should have 540k. My mana is gone. Oh, look at the damage. Ah, oh, I'm out of mana potion. Hello? Let's just throw that down. There's no overboard this thing? Yes, there is. There's no rapey content. Except for the tier 2 blue seeds. Rox dies in like 20 seconds. Huh. Maybe I've gone overboard on damage. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty happy with my 10k. Yes, I do wish I had a uh, block shield though. I've never got a shaper or a state of shield. I will let the man now, enjoy his yes. That's still insane. What it means to be Jesus. Oof. That's insane. That is actually insane, dude. I'm jealous of your gear. attempt. Yeah, the only thing I want to do on mine, I want to get an uh, ES on block shield and an amulet. I don't have a plus two amulet. I need like a speed farmer to grind all. Hey, you're dead. Hey. They were dead already. Yeah, tier 2 sees if you're standing still is death. Oh, wow, nice. I don't have energy shield rings. My rings are pretty bad. Mm. There. So now we're going to go towards elemental overload, and that is going to be a very, very big damage increase. No Let's see. So oh, I don't think I get to buy Unleash. Because I do want Unleash. Let's go buy a couple. No love for Diala. May fear guide me. Let's see. 
Yep, already using her other mesh. Don't know what I'll be using in game. Don't know what I'll be using in game yet. I'm only level 37, can't even use it yet. You know, I really want to try out uh, Unleash with EK. That'd be fun. Where's my EK right now? I didn't think EK. I thought I would have swapped over to Blade Vortex by now, actually. I could, like, probably do that instead of the added fire, so I get one blue with Unleash. That should be fun for leveling. I cannot do this yet. Didn't think it would be this good. And soon I get a huge damage boost. Her of Agony? No, 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 no. No, God, no. I could maybe do a Herald of Agony character later, but I think this should just be better and hopefully feel better. Whoops. But yeah, I, I have a lot of fun characters I want to do. I really want to try to make Stormcall work, either on Spellslinger or, or Stealthcast. Be very fun. <laughs> That's fantastic. Awesome. Cool. The contracted chieftain as well then, or what? Let's see. One more level, then we're chroming my helmet to get one blue. It doesn't really need one red either. Two blues would be better, actually. Maybe I should just like four link a new helmet. We'll see in town now. But yeah, very, very smooth with very little stuff. And obviously we didn't need a tabula, which is nice. At least I would want, I mean, I wouldn't, I'd rather have two blues, like the, the red, let's just grab whatever here. The red socket isn't that good. Fire pen starting to become more viable now. There, evasion, ES. Throw a binding orb on it. Let's see some chromes. We want at least pierce. You know what? I kind of would rather have like three green. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna yoink some chromes. I'd rather have three greens. Oh my god, this is annoying to chrome. Help? What's happening? Uh, I'd rather just have Unleash instead of the added fire. Then I don't have to bother with like, um, wait, what happened there? Oh. Oh my god, dex issues. That's annoying. Okay, well, we're just gonna take a 30 dex point. I can't be bothered crafting dex on anything. There, so we're just gonna grab Unleash on the EK and see how that feels. What is that belt? Darkness and Throne? It's awesome. Now, what you can do, and this is really nice, you could roll. So these are level, like, item level 2 jewels, right? So they don't have a, they don't have a level. Or they're item level 81, but the requirement is very low. What you can do is, like, rolls, so you have some at level 30, some at level 50 to switch into. Um, that would be really strong. We're still basically resist cap. From this, like, normally when leveling, I would pick up more stuff. Well, not, not now. This is like dimly, but if I like was short on stuff, I would be picking up ults and stuff. Kinda need Pierce with EK. Unleash should be a lot of fun, I think. We'll find out. Unleash is generally for, for clearing always better than spell echo. Spell echo is generally better if you're standing still and right clicking. I'm um, just jagged fossils on item level 2 one for the plus one fists. They're very easy to make. And that's with any, like, you know, like aberrant ones for chaos. The jewel can roll dex and int. It can, that is true. Let me, worth considering. I unleash. There we go. There's a cool MTX for this skill, too. Now it should be that like, able to like one blast blues and rare. Let's see. 
there. Everything should now that we have unleashed be very, very easy. We'll throw that. I'll probably lose combustion. That's fine. We'll continue moving towards Ellie Overload. Once we get Ellie Overload, our damage should be busted. You should aug your jewel in your belts. No, that is actually really, 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 really bad advice. So if you do get one like this, uh, that only has like three to six fire damage. The problem is if I augment that now, it's almost guaranteed to get uh, one of the sets. Right? It's going to get one of the sets that have... Um, what do you call it? Like it would uh, add a required level to it. The entire point of these jewels is that they don't have a required level. So if you do get one that has like looks like this, three to six fire damage while dual wielding, then you don't want to aug it. That is terrible advice. And you're gonna have to use another like 50 ult. There. All good, dude. It's the easy thing to forget. But that's what we want them for. We want them to be able to be like required level uh, low. And then I keep reusing these for every spell character I use. So you only need to make one for the entire league. Unless you die with them, then you need more. Um, you know what? We can do we can do the MTX. It does actually look pretty cool for their own knives. Oh yeah. I prefer the stars, I think. Uh, and again, like, if we really wanted to, we could do something else than Onslaught. We could get more damage too and have Onslaught on a potion. I usually prefer um, having Onslaught on kill because then it's like pretty much karma uptime while leveling. Um, you could also get a searching eye probably around this level, maybe it's around level 40. That has um, Onslaught on kill too. Poet's pen? No. Placebo increase, baby. We? They almost done. Nice. Now it feels great for leveling, and it's about to be a redoculous. Two more levels. Well, actually, one more level because we have a skill point. So if we kill enough blue packs here, we can probably get it before Innocence. That would be nice. That's actually something worth getting. Sometimes if you're really, really close, especially on hardcore, really, really close to a big power spike and you're about to kill a boss, like it's it's worth getting just to make the boss fight more comfortable. Um, especially if you're like, not particularly familiar with the boss or you just you're just new. Very, very nice to, uh, like an area like Chamber of Innocence, it's very nice to just control reset. So for example, you, I would go back to town, click the waypoint while holding control down, and then you get the uh, option to make a new instance. I cannot do this yet. No, there's no point for me to farm chamber for levels now. I don't need to. I'm just going to make sure that I get that one level there. Then I'm going to go to town now and pick up the skill point, And then I get the elemental overload. I, I have more than enough. Haha, this is very, very smooth leveling. Very Remember, smooth experience so far. Where are you? Now, where was I? There. Boom. Elemental overload. And then you want to make sure that, like, you have... So, for example, I'm not using control destruction on EK. So, that's what going to be what is, like, keeping my elemental overload up. Um... And I have, like, a little bit of crit, too. Or am I using control? No, I'm not. I don't have any minion build play with me at the moment, I think. So whenever the EO, which is going up very slowly, that is going to help a lot. The world must be cleansed of impurity. So now we already have, like, the Blade Blast is 6,500 DPS. There's some crazy damage there. Um, that. No, the bubbles. I hate these bubbles. So 
So for Innocence, in this stage, he's always doing 10 summons. And he has a small pass, pause at the halfway. And now I can like super easily just stack loads for when he comes back up. You're dead, Jim. That is annoying. So like dur during races and stuff, especially if you want to pre-trap, or in this case you could pre-blade blast, right? You can ha have all this ready for him to come. Um, oh, that's annoying. Um, then you can like count count the waves. But do your your bladefall doing so much single target? You just so that's with bladefall and blade blast. It's both of them. Uh, I'll go over all my links and all my gear at the moment now after th I think I forgot to do that after Piety. Or Dominus whenever I said I was gonna do it. Go over everything now. And then Blade Blade uh, Vortex is really nice too. Alright, so let's uh, look over everything and cross thank you so very uh, Twitch Prime. Right. So we're auras, we're just using Herald of Ash and Purity. You could use Skitter Bots as well, but I'd, I'd, like, I would feel like you'd want an Enduring Blast for that. If not, you're going to have mana issues. Um, our helmet, it doesn't matter where they are, by the way. Uh, our helmet is Onslaught, Pierce, <coughs> and Thorough Knives and Unleash. The uh, other one is Second Wind, Flame Dash, and Smoke Mine. We're using a Barracks Pass for Reward. Um, the Reward is Diamond Skin allocated for Random Ring with Resist. Um, the, both, both my chest and my glove can craft more resist too when I need that. Controlled, Blade Blast, Ellie Focus, added Fire. Ellie Focus, Funk Effect, added Fire, Blade Vortex. And then it's the same leveling duels that I started with there. Remember, so that, that's free. everything. We have nothing else. I have all this. I need that. I did. Yeah, you want to use Flame Dash with Smoke Mine. If you want to only use one movement ability, then you want to do dash, dash with second wind. But if you're doing smoke mine, which you should be, it's faster. Then you want to do like you don't want to do smoke mine and dash. Dash is better standalone. Flame dash is better with um, what do you call it? Smoke mine. So this is like the fastest setup. That speed leveler sees. Zoom zoom. Uh, if you're lazy and you only want to use one, then I would recommend thingy. Dash. Dash with second wind. And that's because both casts are instant, which is the same with smoke mine and flame dash. Your first hero? Ah, I wouldn't do chieftain then to know what I would do. Hey, cast heals. Why do you shift casting after they did attack in place? I was like, I don't think like two like essence drain for example would stack. Yeah, you'd probably be assassin if you want to be pure fizz. Lily and crying and stuff do that. I think they're crit though. Flame dashing into Awaken Raid Tornadoes. Oh, the Quinn death. Yeah. So I was wondering why you were Pepper laughing. I was like, what? So honestly, I had planned leveling with just Blade Vortex and running around with that, but like the, the EK feels great. Innocence. Hello. There? Remember, 
So, 1.3k life for Kitava, and we can get easily rescapped after. We're gonna go grab one more skill point, too. I prefer EK over BB, because it feels less clunky. Yeah, I just, I thought it would be a lot less damage, but we have, like, a boatload of damage. So, yeah, honestly pretty nice. I'll take a quick stretching break after Kitava as well. I have to take less breaks during this to make it faster for the YouTube world and stuff. And with the Korea War, then we have pretty nice, like, proj distance. Um, there is another... I should use that in a play with me soon. There's another amulet that's really good at level 30. Um, what is it called again? It's the, uh, Temple of Asawodo. Like, sacrifi sacrificial something? No, I can't remember what it's called. Really, really high flat elemental damage amulet. Sacrificial Heart, that is what it's called. Thank you. Sacrificial Heart, really, really good amulet for, for specifically just damage. Super damage amulet. I love Unleash. It's just such a cool idea. Both, both like Spell Singer and Unleash were like, I'm so happy they got it to the game. Are you going to need more flat fist to scale EK in later acts? No. No. Not at all. Like it gets it gets most of the damage it needs from the gem level. I don't think I have Blade Vortex and stuff like that. Or Blade Full leveled up. Level 19 from a different character. I should have done that. Oops. Wait. There we go. Okay, there we got one more skill point. Hey, and a chaos orb. <laughs> nice down there. Remember. Let's see. There, got all the skill points we need. Uh, what do I need now? What do we have in the POB? We don't need the AOE stuff for leveling. And this is like late game. We don't need to go down here. We could go down here and grab Enduring Cry. Actually, that is quite nice. Oh yeah, we'll go here. Well, will we? I don't need AoE. I can just grab life nodes, I think. Oh, you know what? For leveling, we could just grab those. They're so nice for leveling. I love these. Because this is like cooldown recovery, cast speed. Like, they're so nice. And then we respec out of those later. I hadn't planned on taking them, but I, I love them. They're just so nice. So, Unleash versus Spell Echo. Spell Echo is always better if you're standing still right clicking. Um, so they're usually sometimes better for bus killers. But, uh, if you're moving, so if you want to do, like, attack, 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 then Unleash is always better. My mana is gone. Where is the rip clip? Uh, all my rips are in my rip playlist. I can't remember. I think the last rip was, like, ten days ago. Latest rip? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Like 10 days ago or something. I can't remember. How many days ago was it? I don't know. I think I've died in a while. I give you to my ancestors. I cannot do this yet. When was it? I don't even remember. Streamer problems. Can't level a new character unless the old one died. 11 days ago. Oh, okay. So that was pretty close. Oh, I should have grabbed a granite by now, actually. That's, like, kind of stupid of me. So, this should be incredibly easy. And he's staged already. So, with this, this is so easy because we get to literally stage him. Right? You just run up and you see that so many of the blades are just chilling in, in range of him. So he's like instantly dead. Instantly dead. So we have really good damage. There's nothing he can do. We're gonna run out of mana though, because I'm managing my mana fast very badly. Oh, we're okay. Gitave is literally getting bullied. Actually getting bullied. No, I'm gonna get bullied, I think.
Oh, we had nothing. We had wild BV. Started mana, so I was like... <gasps> 60? No, I have 6. Not 60. I actually have 5 million DPS, not 60. Front loading damage of P still? Yep. <sighs> How many times have you died to Axe 5 Katava? Only in races. Never on characters, I think. But it cannot be extinguished. Will you have mana issues all the way to 70? Yeah, but I'm not gonna take. Like, there, there are things we can do to solve mana issues later. Um, and during mana fast is like really really good for you. You can't do you can't do cyclone and blade flurry, like cast on crit cast a spell. Blade flurry is another attack. Let's see. So now we're gonna throw cold rest on here. We'll just do that one. We don't need to use three chaos. That's insane. And then we we'll throw lightning on here. Okay, we'll do fire and lightning rest. There, and then we're still undercapped on lightning. Uh, and then we'll throw lightning. Oh, shit. Okay, I should have paid more attention. Okay. Um, I mean, I can just switch these around. Rip scours, which I'm already low on. But yeah, we're going to take a quick switching break now. Generally, we upload these to YouTube in one go, so it's not they just like skip ahead if you're watching on YouTube. I'm just gonna go FK. It's like rendering these takes like 20 hours for my editor. I played super hot, yeah. I hated that you couldn't move in it. The worm's mole. Um, I'm pretty sure that's attack damage. Yeah, attack damage. That doesn't lead to anything. I will be right back.
I thought you wrote rectangular standard, and I was like, is this some sort of new hipster mode? Rectangular standard? Nice, people. You're being very, very nice lately, people. I love it. Hmm. Fate awaits. Huh. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Something we should do is grab a granite boss. I must have one somewhere. I should, I should I should bubble it. I think it's the actually get an okay one. Um, oops. Like no alt. I really should pick up alts while leveling. Let me get like something. You know what? Oh. Whatever. That that'll do. That'll do. Um, we don't need double quick silver anymore. And then by now, like you, I, I would have wanted like I always do this on link start. I was like, focus on picking up a lot of ult, so you can get an instant life loss. That's like pretty big by now. Let's go do the um, Twilight Strand too, so we don't have to. In case we need more gems, now we can just buy it on any character. I do this on every every character I have. Now one's Elemental Overload proc, which should be quite often. But it's not as much as I'm used to. What is my crit? It's 9%. But now the damage should be like pretty uh, pretty heavy. Most of the time while clearing it should be up. It's feeling great right now. Even though it's a marauder and needs a little bit of help with int and stuff. It feels pretty great. I cannot do this yet. You die now. There, skill done. We'll grab that later whenever she comes back. Whenever my line ice resets. Don't need to know. Spectre Summoner. Yeah, it's still really good. Um, for me on SSF, I wouldn't want to do that unless I get the Soul Leader Jewel. Um, I think I would pretty much instantly roll one if I find one. I don't know. They're just so cool. It's the, the very tiny specters that I, in particular, like. They, like. they look really cool. They're like an iron cannon on your screen. So now we should just be able to... Actually, now we should start taking some more life nodes. We have great damage. Um, so getting up to like 15, 1600 life before the Brand King would be nice. Some people pre prefer a bit more, but... Yeah, Redemption Sentries. What's the advantage of taking EO? So obviously we're not scaling crit. EO is something that um, you normally take it when you're a, a non-crit build, and it's like basically free damage. Uh, wow, that's a tanky, uh, tanky draw. Um, yeah, it's uh, something you take on non-crit builds for basically free damage. So right now I'm critting now and again, right? Like um, while clearing most of the time, especially if I get like 10% crit, then I should have EO up all the time. And it is 40% more damage. Multiplies my damage by 0.4. 1.4. Basically. And all my damage is elemental. Montickle, thank you for the tier 2 resub and the two months in a row. Thanks so much. How are you doing? Oh, nice yellow. Never actually used things to do. But yeah, so elemental overload is like used a lot early. Normally people go crit to scale endgame, but uh, on this we are not going crit. Here we got EO. Let me teach the laws of war. Instead. Actually, we should just do this. Oh. Even the blade fall itself deals a lot of damage, honestly. And then the blade blast is like crazy damage. Oh. Can I get a 5 essence monster from a 3 or just from 4? No, just from 4. Just from 4. Essences can be like crazy dangerous. 
When they were first introduced, they were probably the most dangerous thing at the time. For one of. There were a few, like, kind of funny rips to them. Hmm. I don't want more life. Hmm. Here. That's easy life. Oh. Easy life. I'm pretty like sloppy with picking up currency and stuff while leveling. Let's see, I already have currency from my other characters. Especially if you are trying to follow on a strict budget, then I would pick up a lot of like rares and stuff for ult. I just don't want to slow down the gameplay for that. I'm trying to make it a faster VOD. Ideally, like. I usually try to end these. If I can make them like sub four hours, that'd be nice. Just like rushing to Blood Aqueduct. Normally, not much changes for Blood Aqueduct. Um, I cannot do this. But yet. it's like quite nice to um, end them there. Most of this is just about the leveling process, and then I do like follow up guides on the ones that I do end up playing further. But like a lot of people, like struggle so much with just getting to maps. That's, like why I made the series. And if something is like super strong while leveling, generally it's pretty strong into maps too. Of the EK, um, it does leave some some blades, I think. Yeah, not as many though. Not as many. But yeah, like I could. The the blade fall just so many blades, and I have a blade fall enchant too, which is one additional volley. And like, on the, uh, on the Juggernaut play with me, you saw that I used to harvest quite a lot to make like, new weapons. I don't really need it on this. It's like incredibly strong. Bells, man. But yeah, I was like one shotting bosses on the other one, which is nice. But they're, they're both strong in their own ways. Is your Null Summoner still alive? Yeah, I respect it too, Safka. These are in strange build. This, this is a really good SSF plus killer. It's what we're making it for. Very, very strong. I don't want a lightning coil. I haven't found one yet. I don't think I'll use one, but... I want one. Not you! Not me? What's that supposed to mean? Work. I shall not suffer this humiliation again! Really? I thought I killed her before she went up. There. Bullied. There, so like they they die very quickly at the moment. Very very quickly. We'll grab another skill point here. Station. Good work clearing. No, I'm good, thanks. With the road to the there. I want both of these. Again. I want like everything. I we'll grab the life first since I'm pretty low on damage is enough. Hey, Arfin, what's up? How you doing, dude? How are you? And I still have Onslaught in as well. So I don't have to worry about getting Onslaught somewhere else while clearing. It feels really good. Especially since I have enough damage. Just obliterating everything. The, ma the main thing about this series is like, I feel like there's a lot of people that feel very, very forced to have a tabby that's leveling. Um, and then you can very, very quickly feel like they see other people like leveling quickly and they're like, oh, it's because they're using a Tabitha. Or it's like the, the 10 or 15 chaos that a Tabitha is, depending on, on when you buy it and where you buy it. 
is not like the number one thing that makes leveling strong. A lot of things, it's like, for example, the plus one, the plus one ones, um, the, um, the ring, like things like that that are really, really easy to get for cheaper. I'd say two barrack rings are way better than a tabula for pretty much any spell leveling. And there yeah, like four link is more than enough. You can go up to like tier ten maps on a four link. Oh, I should have done Abra. More skill point. Character looks badass too. Look at that. Who needs MTX? I cannot do this yet. Tabula is just convenient though, right, but the problem is that you still like, it fucks up your mana cost for a lot of skills. So a lot of people end up struggling more with the Tabula. Hey! Easy clap. Is it mana fast? Well, it's more the fact when you, like, a lot of people, a lot of people end up reserving, like, so many auras. Just a, a habit a lot of people have. They'll reserve too much auras. Like, right now, if I hadn't, like, if we hadn't been showing this, some people would be, like, putting skitter buffs on, right? Because a lot of the time, I will, would be recommending skitter buffs. So a lot of people would probably put skitter buffs on. Then they'd have, like, 20% mana left. And then if they're using a tabula, one cast, they're going to be out of mana. So a lot of people are going to be like, wow, this feels like clunky and horrible. So whereas now, when they get to see how it is for leveling, like, I'm not using Skitter Bust because we have enough damage. Free cast a bit there. Oh, maybe. Came a bit too early. There. Hey, you're dead. Oh! That double, double attack though. Yeah, just Ash and Purity. Hair of the Vash and Hair of the Purity, that's it. It's the only thing we're running right now. Yeah, but you can't get that anymore. Or, sadly. Hey, remove that! You're right, this guy can be worth waiting with on Hardcore. He can be rippy. Mmm. Obliteration. I mean, it's great for clearing. Not always the best single target. There. There. Stay loads sharp. of books, loads of reading. I don't like it. There. Decent amount of life. And now we're going to go grab more cooldown. We'll grab this entire thing. Now, for what we're doing right now, there's no reason to get elemental damage instead of spell damage. Because we're not really killing the ignite. We don't care about that part of it. And spell damage is something we don't have that much of right now. So it's fine. Like spell or elemental damage. Like percentage increase. You see, like, once we have EO up as well, which should be most of the time if we're attacking often, then uh, it is pretty big damage done. Like, everything is just dying. Come on, Unleashed Wave. Everything is dead. I didn't think it would feel this smooth for leveling. See, a bit more. Now you can see that on the swap mine, you can see that the cooldown recovery is like getting there. Um, since we have second win and the, the nodes on the yet. skill tree. Very, very nice. Very nice. Something that is pretty popular to anoint, uh, I usually do this on Trade Lee. I'm very, very low on Appalescence on Soul Sulfan. Um, but it's very popular to anoint uh, Fleetfoot, because that's an additional 20% cooldown recovery for movement skills. Um, and that, when you get that at like a career ward, that's nice. You, you really notice like a speed increase. But it costs up less than, so I don't want to do that. Sub less than, like, kind of prices for me right now. I think I have one. How can I add aspect of the spider on POB? Just like, um, put the text on an item. Like, edit in on any item, even a unique item. It'll automatically go online. 
And then you'll get the options in POB for like how many spider stacks and something. But you need to like copy paste it or edit it in manually. I'm good Nettle, how are you? Freedom from the cave. I need dex. I need some dexterity. That's what I need next, actually. I think I'm gonna have to take your Yoni with the host. How are you doing? How are you doing on this fine day? Are you still alive? I like bullying Yoni when she dies. It's probably my favorite pastime, but she's doing really well. Not dead? Poggers! Bumblebee with the tier 3 sub. Thanks so much, dude. Welcome, Raiders. We are doing a play with me, so we're doing a... Well, right now, we're just leveling with the Thorough Knives and just, like, exploding all over these mobs, which is nice. Um... And, uh, yeah. It's, I honestly thought I would have switched off with Thorough Knives earlier, but, uh, yeah. It feels pretty great. How is your stream, Yoni? Buy the next all, right? Today? Or 90 Day Fiance. Yoni's my favorite 90 Day Fiance streamer. What do you get up to? Please, grab the deck. Because you really want to, like, you don't want to hamper your your gem levels on the active skills. Definitely want those behind. I'll just use Play Vortex here for these. Those ones. Wait, did she just die host me and dash? Post and dash? What the hell? Mm. Think she cut and run? Did they play for quality? Yup. There we go. That's tough. She was very sleepy. That's fair. What level is she at now? There. Yeah, this is a play with me, so we're just like trying to explain most things as we go along. Right now, it's pretty solid. Well, Mumra. Oh, right, you don't like CI? Yeah. Act 6. Nice. Dude, I love when we have four unleashed stacks. Where's the fifth unleash from now? Because they removed the ones from Cluster Duel. Is there one on the skill tree? There's nothing else, right? Or is it a special anoint? It's only a special anoint or something, right? See, if we go down here, then we can like flame dust down here and Whalem will already be waiting for us. Please save like three seconds. Totally ignored. What's up? What happened now? Helmet Redeemer. Oh. Wait. <coughs> ah. Uh, seal support have plus one max number of seals. Oh, that's tempting to get, honestly. If I want damage for leveling. Oof. Corona S. I was outside. That's true. Monka W. I went outside. And Acton's Nightmare music is playing. That was a horror stream. Um, I I didn't get scared. Basically, it was I was just too brave the entire time. Um, so it was like, yeah, I'd say like people thought it was like a little bit like I was doing too well, and I was like stone faced the entire time. It's just very very. People said they've never seen anything so brave in their entire life. Like, some people said that, like, my Viking ancestors would have been proud. Hey, don't link clips. Don't link clips, alright? I'm trying to impress the new viewers. Can we, uh, cut it? Cut it with the clips. No clips. They're all fabricated.
este... So strong. That's me. So dedicated. That's me. A man like you would never disappoint a lady in need. You're I didn't get scared by watching my own clip. A sumptuous feast for his That's fake. On his wedding day. Really. We are I'm a very so brave person. Okay. My mana is gone. Well, is it? So, when you have like this amount of HP, you're pretty safe to stay down here. I'll show you on the next wave that you can like seize it a little bit too if you want to be extra safe and maybe you're new to hardcore and stuff like that. So, like, for example, say you have like 1.2k life here or you have low cold rest and leak start and you can't fix it. Then you can do this. This is a neat little trick and you can safely put a portal when you come back down. You just can't like move or use any skills. Well, like, yeah, it just depends how comfortable you are. Nothing wrong with staying down either. Slightly faster to stay down. And you're dead, kid! And see why your Viking ancestors could be proud? That's a fierce war cry you have right there? Yeah. I would say I'm very fierce. Black crest. That's, that's how it would describe me. Fierce. Welcome. Peak masculinity. Who would be Bar. Wrong to do that here. Amazing reflexes. I react very quickly. The end of Music's making me tired. I'm sorry to hear that. See, I'm gonna send Cruel Lab too soon. Good delirium. I do need some medium tools. All these rotten rattlers were brought down by your hand. Yep. Yoink. Will they return the finger? The pride of Scandinavia? That's honestly that you're not the first person to call me that. Very, very, uh... It's the bravery, you know? I think that, you know, when, when going Viking in the past, if it was like, you know, like... If I was, you know, in back in that day, I think I would have been very, very useful. Browse. As bait? Hey! No, as like frontliner, dude. The bride of Scandinavia. I like to think that my parents are proud of me. Not so much when they watch me play Alien vs. Predator or Alien Isolation. Operation Get Behind the Zizarin. I just wonder how many people are watching on YouTube and have never watched Twitch. It's 185. Wait, why 185? We need a war paint stream? Do you want to fit? No, I mean, I hate playing. I hate playing horror games with a passion. I, I only ever do it as sub goals. I cannot do it's this. It's just yet. to bait subs. That is the only reason I do it. I hate horror or anything. I actually did watch Alien uh, Covenant yesterday. Um, it was a pretty mediocre movie. Um, I I was like, I've seen this before. Like I was like, I've seen this before. I hadn't. I just had seen Prometheus, which is basically the same movie. I feel like they could have done more with it. It was an alright movie, but a terrible alien movie. I just feel like it was too... There was like nothing... 
nothing inno innovative. Innovative? Innovative? Don't know how to say that word. No innovation. Like, I love a lot of the alien movies, and I actually think, like, either Prometheus or the Covenant would have been okay, well. but both were kind of, they were like the same movie. And, like, it's a pretty old movie, right? I can talk about it, right? There's, I mean, I need a spoiler alert, I'm gonna talk about the movie. But, like, like, it seemed like, so these are supposed to be professionals. Right? That are exploring alien planets. And they start pushing down on spore things and smelling them. I'm like... That was some Hyper Daniels gaming shit for me. That was some like, what Still are you doing? Like, you see like, a lot of other like, movies where they like, go explore new planets. And they're like, don't touch anything. Anything could kill you. In this movie, they're like, Shh. It's like, what? And then he dies. Like, oh no, you died to the most obvious thing ever. Shocker. So, I don't know. That was, it was, a, it was a bit frustrating to watch, especially like the, you know, just the exploration part. For me. Brand damage. And the guy that brought in the map, the place gets lost? Yeah. Just. I don't know, dude. A lot of it didn't make sense. But still, it was an enjoyable movie. It just wasn't, like, particularly good. Um, I would totally watch the sequel. I think that would be cool. I just, you know, I, I feel like it's very copy-pasted, like the, you know, how the alien movies go. If you've seen, like, the other ones, you could very easily predict exactly what was going to happen in Covenant, at least. What happened to the Null Summoner? Ah, it is logged off. That is what happened to it. I cannot it can only be logged on one character at a time, I'm afraid. This is a play with me. What energy drink do you like the most? Red Bull. My mana is gone. Yeah. Damage is pretty great. I love that you're able to freeze die. Having a granite while he's doing that can help a lot. The wild BV as well just finishes off like pretty much any boss. Yeah, and this is like on a four link, right? Like there's nothing like crazy here. This is all very, very cheap gear, which is like why I do this series. Like that's the main thing. I want to try to like show different ways of making the leveling feel good. Because I know so many people fucking hate the leveling process. Whereas, like, even things like, you know, Face Breaker, Infernal Blow, we can make that feel amazing while leveling. Which I think is important. Any more life nodes I can grab cheaply without doing a travel node? Not really. Not without a travel node. Um, I think I'll go for the Scion Life Wheel now and grab at least Constitution. Can you start again? Alright, let's go start over. Let's start over. Um, I'll actually be doing a wonder character soon. Because I have a lot of the gear that, like, Dan and Steel are using for their, like, int wander. And that looks pretty cool. Like, that's the thing about us is that you're kind of more limited. I have a few, like, cool things I've tried to do. Like, obviously we have the Nulls. The Nulls anime weapon thing. That went pretty well. But, like, you're a little bit limited creatively when you are playing SSF. A little bit more than normal, at least. I'm trying. I'm trying to do some weird funky shit too. 
really want to make Stormclaw work, Fireball, a couple other things. So, uh, are a lot of people, oh, most people seem to play along with the VOD, but are a lot of people playing along already? Everyone enjoying it? Do you think the latest RF build can still be followed, or is it too outdated? Too outdated. I wouldn't follow one of my guys. I would look up on a... Left click is detonate mines. Oh, wow, I see. When was that? I don't even want to watch that. Six months ago, oh wow. There, and then we put the Vol BB down. And boop! Hey, die. Right. Um, now is a pretty good point to ascend, or you can go grab the skill points too. No, I haven't done Spell Slinger Fireball as an actual build that I've played myself. That was one of my League Starter suggestions, because I knew a lot of people wanted to get a Fireball build. And it turned out pretty good. Here I put a skill point, or sorry, here I put a portal. Dude, I love on Leaf. Just so nice. Why not try any of the new brands? I'm going to. I don't have all the stuff I need for it. But like, the Leaf just started for me. Just one month into the League or something. Loads of time left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm already fired from work. Hey, alright, what's up? Good to see you. Patch is so good, so many viable builds. Yeah, it makes a lot more SSF viable than normal. That's why I'm saying SSF. Normally what I do is I'll do... SSF for the start and then go trade league. Now I'm staying SSF the entire league until I do like trade private leagues later. Like community private leagues later. Nah, I think it's very, very um I cannot do this yet. I feel like if you do a day of farming, you get pretty much the same amount of seeds, I feel like. Sometimes, in a short period of time, you can get more of one, but I feel like they're very, very... I never feel like everybody's saying, oh, I'm too low on Vivid Seeds, or too low on the blue or green or, or, or yellow, whatever, right? It's everyone's, like, missing one. Better to be kind or honest? Depends on the circumstance. It's better to be adaptive to the situation. In some cases, it's more important to be honest. In some cases, it's more important to be kind. You don't have to be... You don't have to be a Sith in this case. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Why not both? Well, I mean... Sometimes people just need a kind lie. Yeah, I love the league. Keep your there you will. Grab the skill points. If you're thinking about dying, don't. And then we go back to here. There. Nearly 2k life. Did you see the crate today? Thanks! Compassion goes a long way in a lot of scenarios. Better to be honest, kindness breeds no thanks. I mean, this, that's just like a kind of a dumb opinion though. Like, there are loads of scenarios where you're just an asshole no matter what. Say somebody's just like... Say somebody's just lost somebody, right? With like with with the with the blanket statement there, oh it's better to always be honest. Like that's so dumb. Imagine like you've had somebody like just lost somebody, right? They like, they've just died and they like maybe cared a lot about that person, but you thought it was a date. You don't go like, oh well personally, I thought the person that just died was a bit of a cunt. 
You know, like, there's, like, better to just be kind. There's a lot of cases where it is more important to be kind. Right? You don't have to be, like, an asshole all the time. Is more the point of what I wanted to say. A little compassion goes a long way. Part of being human. We're we talking about a shop. I mean, there's there's a lot of people who who, who like say like, oh, I'm, uh, people don't like me because I'm honest. It's like, no, Jim, people don't like you because you're a con. Nothing to do with being honest. You have shitty opinions and shitty behavior. A lot of the time. Let's pick the random name. Can't we kill her? She died. Compassion is important. Yeah, what Reiner said. There's there's a happy medium there to be had. Imagine the kind of thing in a funeral. <laughs> well, in my opinion, yeah, exactly, right? It's like so Jenny stupid. Go with courage. Uh, let's see. You just don't do that. Some people do. I know people like that. Till next time. Be kind. Are you referring to Carve? No. <laughs> Hmm. I really, really, really want just for. I think that'll feel really good for clearing. I haven't tried it before. I would ditch it later though. Tempted to try it. Right now, before ascending, you want to do Solar Ralakesh. That helps you take less damage from um, thingy. That's not too shiny, but sure, to some degree. But yeah, that is very, very good to have before ascending. So now, like, the some of the traps will do less damage to me. So we are five levels under, and it should be a breeze to ascend still. Now uh, we're going Chieftain. This is a Chieftain Fire Conversion, yeah. It's a lot tankier than the Assassin version. There. Hi, man with that. The weary traveler draws close to the Emperor Beckons at the world that ends. Your way to the top. No. Now that he's mace, you can see that he like, has. There, that's the slam. Like it's very, very easy to avoid just by like moving. Crazy. Loyalty is a fire that spreads quickly if the forest is dry. Welcome. Right, but Chieftain's gonna be tankier. Remember that? Yeah, crazy tank. Way easier to do things like Zibakwa or Tran uh, Tranquility? No, I can't remember what it's called, but the, the green jewel. Transcendence? Maybe that's what it's called. Um, no, I didn't actually. Ooh! I only saw I only saw one of Quinn's death. I, cannot I didn't do actually this know yet. he died more. What's he gonna be playing next? Finn does crazy well on righty, so I guess it doesn't matter. I'm surprised so many people stayed to watch me play Alien Isolation yesterday. I was pretty happy with that though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm wondering what he wants to do next. Oop. He doesn't know? Cool. That's super entertaining. <laughs> Thanks. It was, uh, it I sure was something. So 
Flame Nash and just hit three times in a row. Yeah. New defense, you looked braver than last horror game. Well, when the playing and watching you play anything close to horror is worth any day. PK, oh. thank you for the 15 months, dude. I wonder if he's gonna do Moon Lord. Ah, I want to do the jump. Why you no jump? You're already dead. Go away. What ambition. Those who stand should never outnumber those. Shadowlands beta. Ugh. But yeah, Terraria is really cool. That's like, for some reason, like, a problem I run into a lot when I play other games than Path of Exile is my entire chest spamming if I quit Path of Exile. I didn't have that with Terraria. Which is really nice. Didn't have that with Terraria, I mean. Mm hmm yeah. I love when it's like, just like, blurred. Enjoy my knives. Yeah, that can definitely be good. I've heard of a lot of people doing that build. Can definitely be good. I wonder if there's ever going to be a Terraria tour. Huh? Just amazed how much content that game had. But if yet. I'm going to move on to the next thing. Terraria. Right, let's see. This is a like kind of nice. I like quick damage. That's true. Very deep is arrow. Violence really? There we go. You jumped too far. Easy. Oh, Zeal's amplifier. Do I have one? That's actually pretty nice. Zeal's is great. And this enchant I always use on some, some boots. Uh, what am I even taking, eh? I haven't even thought that out. Uh, that's decent. Leash his life. Cover very neat. Um, what else? What did I have in the POB that I had? If you've used a war cry recently, you lost an endurance charge in the eight past eight seconds. Um, life recovery if you've taken fire damage. Under fire risk. Unaffected by ignite. I might just take the fire leech. That is nice too though. That is nice too, but then I'd have to go down here. I think I'll take that from Merc Club. Go down there and just do like Infernal Cry or Enduring Cry, whatever I feel like. And then we'll just take the fire leech. And that's that now. And then... I don't think I have any endgame boots. So let's just throw some two-tones in. And hope to get, I don't know, anything useful, I guess. Yes. Meh. Leech, regen, all would have been fun keeping. Right, let's see. Did I have a Zeals? I might have one already. Yes. Okay, sweet. One more then. Once more. No, it doesn't have anything to do with players 
receive damage. It's just outgoing damage. He is only outgoing damage. I now have like a little bit of leech and a little bit extra single target. I cannot do this yet. Leech always feels nice. Shame it's not mana, but you know. It's something. Ah uh, yeah, the, there's a command for the POP on this. How do you even see that they're covered in ash? Ow. What's the actual visual effect? I think I very rarely use ash. Just like the ignitey looking thing. It's just the ignitey looking thing. Oop. But yeah, feeling pretty solid. The the uh, infernal cry would be pretty nice as well. Um, for covering things in ash. What else does infernal cry do? I mean, it's the explosion, but other than that, so we could use either that or ow. Wow, dude, rude. We use that or Enduring Cry just to be tanky. And the Endurance Charges are nice. Crying Terrors of Fire. Well, it's nice to have like a little bit of an explosion thing too. We've already picking up any early seeds. Um. Weird. Wait, that? Oh. Wow. I'm surprised I didn't have that until now. 26,000 delves will fight. That's not a bad way to level either, actually. Especially if you have a character that can remove... What do you call it? Thingy. Uh, corpses. So, for example, in this, what I could do early on is to try to craft an explosion chest. They are very, very easy to craft this thing. You just need an 85 Crusader, and then it's like, you need a couple of Augment Fist rolls, and it's guaranteed. Not like Fast Leaks, where it would be like 10 next just to get one. Um, and the bases should be very, very easy to get them shortly. So, some cool changes there in like, availability of here. Okay, let's see if we can kill our Kali. Um, I can just take another one. Movement speed is nice. Ah, uh, there's like, um, even if you do a shit ton of damage, there's some our Kali's that'll just stay around for forever and you get to do it very easily. And sometimes they'll like force you to do all the stages. It's annoying. I definitely do kind of want an explosion, but I also want... I don't know. There's so many things I want. There's so many things we want, chat. My mana is gone. Damn it. That was just me being so... Wrong hockey. Easy peasy. Do this yet. Infernal crying combustion support to reduce fire rust. Yeah, that's a good idea too. For clearing. And then it's so nice that you can have, once you get the instant war cry node, you can have a cry on your left click and it's just passively doing it. So that's really nice for, for example, enduring cry or, well, it depends what you need it for. I, I like having enduring cry on there. And like right now, I have 2k life, but I also don't have a lot of life on my gear. You can very, very easily get a lot of um, a life. Like I could, if I had like normal life gear and like Lee started actually caring about life, especially with Harvest, I could use that 3k life by now. But right now, I have basically no life. I have 20 here, none, none, uh, none, 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 three. So yeah, very, very easy. Oh, nice, yes, yeah. Uh, not at all. That's awesome. Uh, one thing that's really, really nice for leveling is... Where are they? I'll show them because they're really cool. These! These are great for leveling. Because um, they get, get up to 70 life and 40 cold rest already at level 27. Which is pretty cool. 
Uh, and for example, if I had put, uh, this is another cool thing to show off. If I had put Vile Blade Vortex in here, so for example, this is only we can show off actually. Uh, I don't know if I can get the colors very easily though. But this is like a really cool thing. I don't know how much these are, especially on like Harvest. Coloring them are a bit annoying actually. Uh, there's a reason I want to show this off in, in this build in particular. I should have included it actually. Would have been a cool thing to show off. I'm not going to bother using them. I just want to show them. Game, please. I really should just be using one blue. Okay, either way. Uh, what's so special about these is that since it's plus two level of socketed Vol Gems, if I put my Vol Blade Vortex in here, what ends up happening is that it would be a level 15 Vol Blade Vortex. So you get a huge damage boost. And that will also affect the normal Blade Vortex. So it's really, really strong. Very, very strong. I guess you do another red gem or something. You're around 2.8k on her core. Nice. Hey, Snook, what's up? Um, so that's like another nice thing. I still tempted to do it. But yeah, very, very nice. And then, like, that further drives point, further drives home the point, like, Tabby, that isn't, like, the end-all, be-all of, like, fast leveling or strong leveling. Obviously, that's only in the socketed gem as well. I cannot and... do this yet. Can't or won't. Even blue packs now and mostly rare are so just being one shot, so incredibly smooth leveling experience this is a spell marauder which normally like can struggle a little bit sometimes these builds can be like pretty like iffy early on when you're still like you don't have everything you need but obviously as you see now very very nice and we'll see now like dodri is one of the like more annoying things for a lot of players coming up on that should be a very very easy experience uh, Molten Shell can make this a lot easier because I can protect you against the slam she has. Yeah, I'll make a leveling POB for this. As you can see, incredibly easy Dodri kill. Throw down my ball. Like if I if I had those plus three gloves, honestly I could have just thrown down ball blade vortex and she would have died just from that 100%. Um let's see, we can grab a few more life nodes since we don't have much life gear. Yeah, it's gonna be a busting character. We can use it as a busting character. I already have essence drain, right? So we'll see. But yeah, it's uh also might be something I turn into a deep delver. My greatest regret is not being there to witness the bedlam that led to the state of this city. Destruction? Depravity? Why not? Hey, an iron ring. Madness. Anarchy and madness. Oh, cool. Chaotic destruction. Cool. Good word. Cool word. Jack in the box. I'm gonna eat to put a headhunter from that one. And he's sad. I want a headhunter from that. Alright, let's see. Good density here. Can't drop a beachhead when you get it this early, I think, but I don't think so at least. A harbinger thing. Oh, I usually do a slightly different thing here, but we might as well just do it. Since we're here. No ancient shards. We don't want to play BB anymore. Can I just swap to Blade Fall? Is this still a good poison skill? Blade Fall, Blade Blast is very strong, yeah, if you're using both. But a lot of people do. Your opinion Cold Iron Point Tiger is viable in this build if you go full fist. Plus three is huge. I mean, if you're an assassin, probably. 
Could be. Ah, I don't know, actually, because it's so easy to do plus two and spell damage on things now. And then he could have trigger gems and stuff. I don't know. I, I would be surprised to see a lot of it, but maybe on a budget. Maybe on a budget. There, blade vortex. Boop. You're dead, kid. If only you would give me the skill point here so I didn't have to go back to town. As you see right now, the uh, you can see that the um, smoke mine and flame dash, even though we're like spamming it, it's coming back very quick. Which is nice. That's a good feeling too. That's because of the cooldown recovery. And if we had the anointment, it'd be even faster, but we don't have that. Opalescent oil, SSF problems. It does we go plus 5 on a staff, tons of spell damage from. Yeah. I haven't done a staff caster in a while. I sometimes do that for boss killers. I had an Armageddon brand staff caster once. That was pretty cool. I was doing a brother with it and stuff. I'm pretty sure that character ended up dying because I swapped here and forgot I was in cold rest cap. If my memory serves. So I did Uber Elder with 40 cold rest. Got pretty far too because I didn't get hit. Well, obviously died in one hit with 40 cold rest. Of a normal 80 or whatever. So that was shock. I feel like the key is literally the worst layout in the game. It's not too bad. I'm too used to it. Some of the layouts are a bit iffy. I feel like I'm using a gun. And I literally feel like I'm shooting the mobs. It's like, brap. Yeah, it's like a rifle. This is basically guns in PoE though, to be honest. Like you're, you're basically using a rifle at this point. Alright, let's see. One more life point, then I want to try out the Unleash thing, just to see how it feels. Unleash Freezing Pulse looks strong too. Dude, I just love Unleash. Fireball, Freezing Pulse, everything like that. It's just such a cool skill. I really want to like try to get some more like Unleash skills. Like do some Unleash builds. It's just so fun. So Even if it's like not always the strongest, it's just like... Ooh. It's just like a really, really cool thing. It's something that feels pretty good. Like just like, you know, just like boom, yet. Unleash. Especially once you actually start investing into like the that it comes back faster and stuff. Give me one more. There we go. Some div cards. Really? No head under cards? Unlucky. So on boss like this, you can see we get to like freeze tank. And the boss is dead. Obviously like this is less efficient now because like bosses do have like a not in vulnerability window, but they have like what is it two seconds where they get a 90% damage reduction? Mm. Yeah, I think this has the potential to be tankier than the ED and more damage. Tell me something. 
My courageous horse. There. Okay, you know what? 2.2k life. That's fine. Let's go try out the Omnish node. I just want to see it. More like Malthud. Yeah, no, it's pretty great. Dude, that's what I really wish. I wish either Chaos or Ignite on a crit. Like, because I feel like the cold... The cold crit effect is one of the coolest things in Path of Exile. I wish the cold... Sorry, Fire or Ignite damage had some... Sorry, uh... Like, Ignite or Chaos, I mean. Had something similar to in Fallout where the monster just melts. Like, you just see it visibly, like, or turn to ash. Like, in Fallout. I just thought that was such a cool effect in Fallout. I'm a fan. Very much notice the damage until EO comes online. I mean... Um... Yeah, EO. Try a little bit more crit. Keep it up more. Thanos effect. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I love it. Half-Life 2 has something like that, right? I think there's something like that in Half-Life. Half-Life 2. It's about an index too. I don't really want to try Half-Life Alley. I don't know if I'm going to stream it. Might do. Cold is the best elemental damage? Yeah, it is. By far. I mean, fire... Actually, fire could objectively be the best fire damage too. Just because of the conversions are so much in favor of fire damage. And that can be so strong. It's so much easier to convert to fire. For level 55. Almost ready to go to PA. I'm not using a threshold jewel now. It's really good though, but I feel like for what I'm using, I'm only clearing one pack, right? There's not that much density that the jewel would be worth using. I mean, all the elements have their own strength, but cold and fire are kind of above lightning, I'd say, in some, some things. Cold is so strong because it's a shatter freeze mechanic. And fire is so strong because of the way they can convert as easily. They're all good, though. Chieftain just has so many strong things for it with the conversion and stuff. Easy conversion. Kampar's not that amazing anymore. Hierophant does a few cool things. Inquisitors kind of... You can penetrate so hard that being able to, like, reduce... Like that entire node cluster where like you ignore resistances, I feel like it's not as strong anymore. Because you can very easily go like minus very, very hard amount now. And like it's not even like much investment anymore. It used to be very, very hard to like actually get rid of the resistances from bosses. And they even buff buses, and that's still the case. True, it's very much cast speed, but I mean, like, it's spe specifically the crit nodes. But you're right, you're right. But again, like, for unleash and stuff, cast speed is not important, right? So, depends what you want to do. Huh? In a lot of builds, cast speed isn't like. Cast speed can be good, but it's not always. It's not always the most important. We're doing like spell singer builds, Caspi is needed, Unleash doesn't necessarily be needed. I feel good to have some. So I feel like I don't know. It could do with some love. Inquisitor is probably my favorite ascendancy. Well trickster right now, I think. Inquisitor's been always like my favorite builds. Ira has a couple of really cool nodes too, though.
Here, teleport thing. Or not. There you go. Easy peasy. Yeah, I wouldn't say Necro is one of my favorites, just one of the strongest. Um, we're one skill point short for the proper Great unleash, team. but we don't we only need that for clearing anyway. We don't really need it, we're already like a powerhouse. No, I haven't really used Cyan for anything super worthwhile. And, like, I don't know, ideally, I kind of want to, like, cut this fairly short, so we have, like, a short YouTube video. Um, this is actually a pretty fast leveling experience, because normally what I do is I'll just level to 70 in Blood Aqueduct. Um, with this, uh, when Noogie moves here, remember that, we're gonna buy chairs and do, like, proper IRL shows with it. But, yeah, um, I think I'll, like, end it once we get to Blood Aqueduct. And then we're going to do a follow-up later on like how I ended up scaling in late game. Because right now, this is pretty much like what you would do on a budget. And I'll, I'll, I'll get to BA, talk a little bit more about how I would do this further. Um, and then we'll we'll continue. But like, to, just to make it like shorter on the YouTube crowd, basically. It's like the six hour videos are pretty intimidating. And like, I would stay in BA for like an hour or something. There's no point to have that in the video. As you can see, pretty decent damage. The bosses like, are just like coming down and instantly dying. It's pretty great. This has actually been a quick episode. Yeah, I've been trying not to take breaks and stuff. Let's see, so we'll, we'll get to town and then I'll talk a little bit about what I would do further. So obviously I would stay here to level 70. Uh, well, that depends a little bit. You can leave earlier, especially on softcore. Like, a lot of people in software will stay to like 65 or something. It's just like a really, really nice place to level and it's not really level efficient to run straight to math. It doesn't really make you faster. Um, the reason for on software, sorry, on hardcore leveling to 70 here is that you can get, uh, you can get level 20 gems here then and then you don't have a chance of dying to Kitava and stuff like that, right? Because when you have level 20 gems and you're level 70 when you're coming there, you have so much damage on all these spell builds. And that can feel very nice, especially for those of you who are playing along. Maybe you're trying on trade tradely hardcore and you're pretty new. But you can afford like one cast to buy a level 20 bladefall, EK, etc. Like the gems that you need. It's only the active gems that need to be level 20. Um and obviously like you level very fast here and you start moving towards the tabula by farming the humility cards. That's a nice little timing there. Thanks game. Um Yeah fix it in a set a sec follower already um, yeah, but you don't really get any XP in Quarry. Quarry for leveling and getting gear is really nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... For, for ones and stuff, honestly, this is completely fine. Just, like, early on, two plus, uh, plus fist spell skill gem level ones, they should be fine. If you want to go a tankier version, and what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing the banner shield. Red Blade Banner. Um, this is going to do, it halves the, like, 50% cooldown recovery speed on Enduring Cry. I might take some nodes for it, I don't know if I'll need to, but, like, uh, infinite power means that the Enduring Cry, regardless of enemies being nearby, it's always going to go to max Endurance charges. That means that I can do castle damage taking Immortal Call and being, like, super tanky and feeling really, really good. Um, so that's great. Uh, and obviously it has life on it. It's got, like, uh, 90 life. Uh, block chance and it doesn't like, have any downside right so there these are really really nice very great shield i'm going to be experimenting with this a like uh life on block shield is really good too and i'm going to be taking glancing blows um the pob will we'll put that in the video as well it's like pretty much like this you see that i don't have dual wielding nodes and i do have shield nodes here we might have to take uh, mystic bulwark too for some extra spell block we'll see how much we get um Especially if I'm not going to have a rare shield that I can do the like, shield block on. Uh, and I would go down here next and do call to arms. And then we can have enduring cry on mouse button one. It's just going to be perma casting. Giving me really insane regen. And and with the chieftain stuff, like we'll go ascend now. 
after this. Like, obviously, we get plus one endurance charge. I would pick up all the endurance chargers. Then we have, like, seven endurance chargers. Really, really nice regen there. Uh, and the immortal call is going to be proccing quite often, giving us the damage. You could, like, find something to get rid of the endurance card. You could self-cast it, too. Um, so that is really, really nice. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's see. What else? Other than that, just, you know, just fill in the skill tree. We'll be... I'll, I'll make, like, a more detailed build guide. That's the follow-up, too. Oh. Um, chest I want to move towards, like, a Crusader Explosion chest. But just any, like, five or six thing life chest would be nice. Um, as far as, like, links go, the most important thing to increase in links here would be Blade Blast. So... Noogie has Inspiration, Ellie Focus, Control Destruction, Fire Pen, and Intensify. So that should be really, really, really good. Um, intensify when, when used. So, should be pretty cool. Should be a good setup. Uh, and then... Rings, I just want like High Life, High Resist. Deaths? I'm on Hardcore. Okay, there are no deaths. There are no deaths. Oh, nice. Good luck, Eddie. Uh, and just gloves. Like everything is pretty much going to be ge generically like life, life and resist in the in the start. Um, that's like basically what I'm going for. And then that shield. And then later on, we'll yeah, I'll I'll do like a how to scale it a little bit guide. And this is something you can see New Ian playing in Endgame as well, which is like where I got the inspiration for the build, uh, along with some things that were dropping. Like for example, which I. Probably want to use. Where is it? Fight for as an additional volley. Already have enough int for it. Obviously, need level 70 for that. I'll make even more single target damage. Um, but yeah, hope you guys, uh, especially on YouTube, were enjoying the play with me. Tried to do a shorter one. Like I said, I'm cutting your hair because no point to showing like the next 14 levels of staying in Blood Aqueduct and leveling. Uh, and then we'll do a follow up guide on, on how to do uh, more skilled. So uh, we'll try to do one of these every one or every two weeks. Might do one next week too. We'll see. But uh, every one or two weeks we'll try to do one of these. So thanks for watching. And try to die less than I do. <laughs>